Hello. This thing on? I'm alive. Didn't know if I'd make it out. But it's good to be back. We'll, uh, we'll catch up in a bit. Hello, VOD channel. If you're watching on the VOD channel, if you're still here, I appreciate seeing you again. I know, once again, say this a lot, been gone for a while. I had weddings and then I got, are you guys still sound a little bit nasally? I ended up getting COVID uh, this past week. I was hoping to do a few live streams earlier this week, but um, I could not get off my couch. Hello, everybody. How are you? Chad, good to see you all again. Oh, look at all you beautiful people. Thank you, kind sir. Hello, Thank Juve. How are you? Thank you, Numbers. I'm doing well. I'm feeling way better. I'm glad to be over the hump. I'm on the mend. Thank you, kind sir. I'm still very... Hello to you and uh, myself in the VOD later. I'm a little congested still. Um, if, if, you, if you don't know, I had COVID. Um, I had a wedding. It was a ton of fun. Thank I loved you, it. Kind sir. Um, Happy to see you again. And then I got COVID. And unfortunately, I had to miss um, my best friend's wedding this past weekend, which really bummed me out. So I'm a little, I'm still a little bit down about that, but everything went well. Uh, it looked like it was a good time. Incredibly happy for them. Uh, but I'm finally starting to be on the thank mend. You, we can get some work done. Welcome back from bachelor partying. <laughs> oh, thank you. Um, oh my gosh, I, I'm gonna have to catch up because I know usually when I haven't been live for a really, really long time, the alerts Thank you, kind, sir. kind of pile up right at the start what of the stream. A quick few months. Um, so let me do my best to catch up here because you all are incredibly wonderful and generous, and I love you all. Uh, but numbers, thank Chip you for in. eight months. Chip, Chip in. in. Chip, Chip in. in. I need to get. I don't. I don't like that one. I don't like that one. I need to work on my alerts again. I just haven't had. I mean, I have had enough time, but. I've been playing Cyberpunk. I've been Thank playing you, more Kansas. Starfield in my free time. Yo, it's Juve. I saw you. Uh, if you haven't played Blando Cyberpunk, back. definitely it, now is the time to get into it. Now is for sure the time to get into it. Uh, cause hot Thank damn, you, Kansas. they cooked. Uh, they really, 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 they really, really, really did well. Uh, and I'm very happy with a lot of the changes Thank that you, they made. Kansas. Missed you. Thank you. I missed you. I missed you all more. Trust me. I'm going to wait for a few patches before going to play. Don't please don't use that abbreviation. <laughs> Let's just call it cyberpunk. Um, uh, but hold on. Let me let me catch up here. Games with Bree. Thank you for two months. A winged nacho. Thank you for three months. AJ. Good to see you again. Thank you for five months. Timmy Bucket. You've been around for a while. Thank you for eight months. Sly Panda, well over a year, 14 months. Thank you. Hex and Beast, thank you for seven months. Thank you, Colin, Fem -fem, Thank you for seven months. And Common Ninja, thank you for three months. Um, all right, sorry if I'm a little bit nasally today. We're not going to be recording anything. Uh, I just wanted to do kind of a chill stream, shorter stream, to get back into the swing of things. I have attempted to overhaul Thank you, Colin, sir. big air quotes juve i finally got a new job after getting laid off thank you for keeping me entertained during my long term of unemployment lieutenant dan congratulations congratulations hold on thank let me open you, up my Colin, stream deck sir. we need to have a proper celebration Insert here Insert emotional one year sub post fr catching streams and your videos has been a bright spot in a weird year of lieutenant my dan. life less than three one year sub post Pro catching your streams and your videos has been a bright spot in a weird year of my life. Lizard Sister, thank you so much for an entire year. Thank you for the... Uh, Aaron Panda, please. <laughs> Downloading Steam. Do not say that. Panda. No. <laughs> this is the wrong music. Numbers, thank you for the 100. Um, but Dan, congratulations. That's very, very awesome. I found a video about a good way to steal a lot in one go in Starfield. How would I go about sending it to you? Uh, the Discord is probably a good idea, although I'm not, I don't know if I'm super, super interested in like seeing how other people have done exploits. I kind of want to, when we get into some challenge stuff uh, over the next couple of weeks, I kind of want to find all that on my own. I did finally. So weird thing about Starfield, right, is obviously if you guys have seen my videos, you know that I'm really, really passionate about getting the idle animations in game to work 
right? Like, like I like to mess around with, I like to get all of my footage in engine so that things look like I, I, I don't use myself as a stand in. I use the characters in game as like the narrator. Thank I like you, to use green sir. screens. Um, What's the challenge? Let me show you. No, no, no real challenge today. We'll talk about this because I do want to do some kind of survival challenge with what on what is quote unquote Skyrim 2. If you're interested in the mods that I'm using, exclamation point mods, I'm trying to level up my Skyrim game in a way that keeps everything feeling like Skyrim, right? I don't want to turn it into Dark Souls. I don't want to turn it into Nio or, you know, there's a lot of really crazy overhauls. I just wanted to enhance the vanilla experience, maybe make it a bit more challenging, a little bit more in depth, and that's it. Some new mechanics, but nothing crazy. Obviously some graphical overhauls, but I wanna keep that vanilla art style still there. And I think the ones that I have so far are pretty good. But I wanted to show you all Thank you, Colin, sir. some of the fun stuff that we've done for getting some shots in Starfield. Um, because it's way different, the way that you have to call in commands for getting animations in Starfield. It's it's oh, I'm on the wrong side. Hold on. Wait, I this is this is the side of the screen. I have to be on when we stream Starfield. So hold on. Let me flip myself today. I forgot I got to be over here. Flip. Horizontal. What did I just flip? That wasn't me that I flipped. Where's me? Um. There it is. Thank you, Colin, sir. Oh, it feels so good to be back. Oh, this just feels so good. Um, okay, I need to catch up on, on all of these again. Thank you all so much for your generosity and your support. I love you all. I appreciate it. Um, blue, blue, blue butt. Thank you for the 100 bits. Thane of Windhelm, 17 months. Welcome back. Thank good you, to see Cone, you again. Sir. Three months, yes. Protect me, Cone. Thank you for four months. Panther, 15 months. Gosh, you guys, some of those numbers are getting up there. Thank you. Introverted, thank you for three months. So there's a there's a really cool thing in Starfield that I'm trying to get used to. And normally when I try to get idle animations in Skyrim, I do I like I click on the player, I do play idle, and then I enter in the idle command that I want to use. It's very, very simple. But in Starfield, it's a lot different. There are these things called archetypes. Every character in Starfield has an archetype. And we learned this a lot the other day. Uh, Red Yeti who, if you follow Jabo's channel, you probably are very familiar with Red Yeti uh, and DDM. If you follow my channel, you probably know DDM. We had a lot of talking back and forth over the last few days, just trying to figure out what's going on. So we do have a green screen, right? But you're going to laugh at what the green screen is. But I learned this is just all test footage that I was getting. So there's this command. You can't really see it. It's covered up by both me and the little play thing down here. But there's a command called CAA which means change animation archetype. And then you can use that to change your facial archetype, which is how you display emotion, right? If you've played Starfield, you can kind of see when you're talking to a character how their eyebrows are expressive. Maybe they're angry and they're furrowed. Maybe they're happy and they're smiling or they're confused and their eyebrows are on different levels. So there's ways that you can actually change the emotion of their face, which is way different. Like you can see his eyebrows kind of furrow as I change him to angry. Just different ways. There's obviously a lot more emotion and it's higher detail than I'm what I'm used to with Fallout 4 and Skyrim with doing these animations. A lot more movement, which I kind of like for, you know, setting up narration. But it, it did take a long time to figure out exactly what commands we were going to use. So if you have caught up with any of the Starfield stuff that we've recorded, obviously, you know, Captain Pickett, his wonderful adventure of betraying the UC and signing up for the Crimson Fleet. But like, here's here's the one where, you know, he's in pain. You can kind of get a pained grimace. I'm not sure why this is playing so slowly. But just testing out some things. So you might be wondering, how the hell did we get a green screen, a green screen room without the creation kit? Because the, obviously the creation kit is not out yet, so we can't add assets into the game. Well, Yeti came up with the brilliant idea. Let me zoom this forward a bit. of changing a texture in game. Let's see. Is it, it is, the, I'm pretty sure it's this video. There's a, yeah, right here. So if we change the texture, this is what Yeti found out and it's genius. He found out if we change the texture of the basic cardboard box in game 
to bright green and then we set scale on it to make it massive and we stand inside of the cardboard box, we can emulate a green screen room. And it's actually kind of worked out. It's, I don't know how, but it just looks so funny to me. This giant office box on the moon just sitting there. Uh, so that, that's kind of a cool little hack that we've... Honestly, I can't even say we. A lot of this was Yeti. Obviously, he was the one who changed the skin of it. We did a lot of back and forth talking like, how the hell? Like, we can't do it in a room. I was checking out different rooms. I was trying to find different things. And I couldn't figure any of it out. And when this actually worked, I was kind of mind blown. Um, but then some really, really tough things, just different quirky things with Starfield that weren't possible in other creation engine games in terms of doing machinima. Like, here's one where there's actually a bug that I found where if you toggle free camera. I'm a god. Oh. How can you kill a god? What a grand and intoxicating it is. Thank you. I'm a god. How can you kill a god? Jennifer. You, Jennifer, thank you for gifting five to the community. I appreciate you. Very kind of you. So there's... Uh, there's a there's a I, I, I don't know if I would really call it a bug. It's kind of like a sequence break thing where if you toggle free camera. Something to do with toggling free camera, saving your game while you're in free camera. I, I can't find out an exact. Replicable way of getting to this point, but if I mess with photo mode, free camera, save my game and reload into my game, I can decouple the camera from the player. And then I can move the player while also moving the camera at the same time. But if I change the camera speed to where it's incredibly slow, I still have control of the character so I can move the character around. And I wanted to get this cool shot here yesterday of my character walking with a duffel bag. Like right here, this was super tough to try and set up, but the camera now is decoupled from him and I can get him kind of walking along with this cool sort of cinematic duffel bag what's in the bag drugs kind of what i'm going for you can see how i'm messing with the camera speed to try and get it just perfectly right there this was the shot that i ended up using so some cool stuff but also it's like it's it's just a bitch and a half to like get it just right because there's so many it's like learning a new language i know a lot of the basic stuff but some of it wasn't exactly what I was used to. And when the answers weren't readily available online, it was weird. It was just hard to get used to. But there's another thing where the player itself in Starfield doesn't play idle animations. The reason being is because in Starfield, there are those archetypes that I talked about. And there are a ton of different archetype values. Like there's a player archetype and the player archetype is very specific, obviously, to just the player. But if you change your archetype to macho or pirate or a billion other ones that are in the game, then you can start to fire off different animations or kind of static continuous things like holding a bag or pulling out a scanner or reading a data pad. That kind of stuff then can be called in and used in different ways. So it's really overwhelming and I'm still trying to get used to it, but it has turned into some fun shots. And I'm excited to eventually put it all together and have some fun stuff. Fritz, thank you. Thank you for the tier one. Okay, so uh, I, I literally just finished the Starfield main story, and in my opinion, this is the best Bethesda game ending I've played so far. I actually would agree. It was uh, my favorite main story that they've done. I thought they did a really, really good job with the main story. I have issues with the game. We'll talk about those probably in another stream. I want to do like a uh, slideshow thing where we can talk about things that in terms of their formula, you know, things that I think were hits, things that I think were misses, things that I think were kind of mixed. We'll do one of those. Uh, it'll be kind of like a positive, constructive conversation that I think should Thank be a good time and should there. be fun. It's a low bar to clear. Oh, no, I think it cleared the bar by <clears throat> by quite a lot. I actually thought it was pretty strong. Uh, the first act, not so much. 
Acts 2 and 3, though, I was really, really invested in, and I really much enjoyed it. Um, and I, I still haven't done, so I've saved the Ryujin quest line, and I've saved the UC quest line, so that I can play those for the first time as a part of a challenge or a part of a video, so that my reactions to everything that happens can be genuine. I've heard great things about both of those side stories. The only quest lines I've played through are Crimson Fleet. We did that one on stream. That was a lot of fun. I did the Freestar Collective on my own. I think that the rewards for that one are amazing. But I wasn't a huge fan of like the quests on the back end of it. Obviously, it's great to see uh, Wes Johnson back in a Bethesda universe. That was great. Uh, but that one was OK. You know, I mean, I, I think that the the worst quest line I played in Starfield so far is better than the vast majority of quest lines I played in their previous games. The quest lines are very strong. We'll talk about all that stuff, though. We can do another like follow up post-mortem type uh, discussion another time. But today, let's do our Skyrim thing. Um, I do, I gave you guys, yeah, excavation point mod. You know how things work on the stream, typically. Hopefully the game doesn't crash. I haven't had too many crashes, but I kind of want to just jump in and play around with some survival, see what happens. Uh, if anybody has any mod suggestions or whatever, we can probably talk about this on the Discord server. Time out, one sec. I'm still stuffy and gross. Still stuffy and gross. Uh, bro can. Bro can dream. Thank you. Uh, thank you for two months. Sorry, I don't know why that name tripped me up so much. It tripped me up. All right, let's boot this up. Are there unkillable NPCs in the Skyrim or in Starfield? In Starfield, Thank there's you, far too many. Uh, there's a there's an any you can put a line in your any if you're on PC. Uh, I just I, I put it in my any to where literally anybody can die. <laughs> I, thought, you, I changed it. Sir. Especially on uh, uh, my new game plus character. I was like, you know what? On my second playthrough, I don't care who dies. Let me know. Am I too high up? Thank you, kind sir. I feel like I'm way too high Hello, up. Hello, sir. Glad you're feeling better. Aya, oh, yeah, thank you very much. I am feeling a lot better. Akuwao, thank you for the tier one. And Tiantra, thank you for the prime. They're like normal streams, just more buggy. They are. We'll see what happens. How many hours did it take you to beat Starfield on your own time? Um... Well, because I was on my. This does look weird. The light, the lighting in this alternate start room is a bit weird uh, because I had played a lot before embargo. And then obviously with you guys on a character, then I started another character and I started fresh a third time. I went through the Freestar Collective quest, some other side quests. Um. Maybe I was about 25 to 30 hours in. And then I started to do more of the main story missions. By the time I did Walter's quest in the main story, I was kind of hooked. And I was like, all right, I want to see this all the way to the end. So I, I didn't do it. I wouldn't say that's the right way to go about it. If you haven't played Starfield yet, I wouldn't I wouldn't say that that's the right way to go about it. I would say also, please keep chat uh, spoiler free. But uh, and, you know, I'm going to play an Imperial. I'm going to be basic today, OK? Oh, wait, hold on. I, I, I got to at least customize the guy. I never get to play Imperial. This guy looks like a poet. Uh, give him a little bit of sun. 
I like the bulky characters. Oh, mouth, hair. I kind of, I just like this look. We're going with this look. Franz. Give me a last name here. Franz Ferdinand. <laughs> Franz. No, co no cosmetic mods on character creation. Oh, Mix Skyrim. I like that name. That's very immersive. It's lore friendly. Choose your kit. Uh, no, we're going to start naked. No starting kit. And then this mod just gives us a random start. So I have no clue where we're spawning. S plain Imperial who is obsessed with stealing people's clothes and putting them on displays. Hunting for the most lavish of garments. That does sound like a, a video. Something we would do. Did I just spawn in right outside of Whiterun? All right, hold on. This is throwing me off. I'm so used to playing without music on any of our streams. It's trippy because I always play without music so that in post I don't have anything getting in the way. Okay, we do have an iron dagger. Although mm, it feels like cheating even to start with a dagger. I'll let it slide for today. So the main really big mod that I love that I think is huge is precision. Although here's the big issue I'm having with precision is that I feel a little bit more advantaged than the enemies. Like if an enemy has a dagger, I feel like they just have an impossible time hitting me. Um, precision and then blade and blunt is like the big combat balance mod. As well as a perk overhaul adamant is the one that I went with. I've usually gone with Ordinator, but I kind of wanted to just try something new. So all the all the perk trees are a lot more fleshed out with different stuff in them. It's kind of overwhelming because I'm so used to knowing exactly what to go for. There's just more. But precision is cool because it takes it takes things like daggers and I don't know if I'm I don't know if I'm the biggest fan of this. Hold on, there's also, is it shift home? It is. I have a first person camera overhaul and I think I can go to, oh, all right. It should be using the same camera settings as my other character. I don't know if I'm the biggest fan of how they hold the dagger with this, uh, with the first person animation overhaul. Wow, what an easy spawn. Thank you, kind sir. <clears throat> Noise, cool face. Could not have gotten an easier spawn right outside of Whiterun. But look, this is game changing. I can see my body. Huh? Ah, that's cool. I guess I just want to go to town and see what's going on. Oh, that sign looks nice. In terms of visuals, the only place I'm not a huge fan of the look is out here where it's super open and you can see the grass kind of disappear. How am I hungry? We just started. Unreal. Oh, those might. Oh, it's because I'm barefoot. <laughs> I'm running around in foot wraps. I sound like an Argonian the way they splat all on the ground. I think it looks just a little soft. Maybe it's the evening lighting. Okay, here we go. Uh, will this change your mind? 72 gold, my fair friend. Welcome to White Run, friend. Go right on in. I have money? Did I not give him the money? I think I got away with not giving him the money. Okay. Actually, this looks pretty good. 
must have I think JK's Skyrim, the one I'm using, changes a lot of like the infrastructure in some of the cities, the set dressing. Nothing crazy. Just a little, little bit of love. Nothing insane. But how am I gonna make, oh, I know how to make money. Are you kidding me? I can, uh... Here, we'll start at Bellathor's. Wait, no. Who can I sell firewood to by White Run? Everything's for sale, my friend. Everything. If I had a sister, I'd sell her in a. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. So many books. Maybe we should go fishing. I can't even afford a. F Well, we're screwed. That's it. All right, everybody. It was a fun stream. Glad to be back. Thanks for stopping in. Okay, mix Skyrim. What do you have? Don't need that stuff. It's just clutter. Take the dagger. I don't like the animation. Bread. No, that's useless. Okay, 30 bucks. I guess we could chop some wood. Oh, you can sell them to the Bannered Mare? Oh, wait, this isn't first person? No, 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 <laughs> don't like this. Do not like it. I'm going to I'm going to get motion sickness. So is all my entire chat. But I think the. Uh, I think the camera thing we can go view events. Furniture, scripted? Would it be scripted? That'd be like, I'm trying to remember, third person. Um, maybe not. Strict angle, it would be events. It's crafting. General? Cause you can like, you can change all these settings of like what moments will be in first person versus not. God, now this is getting in the way. Okay, let's turn off furniture. Furniture should be in third person. Cannibal, definitely want that in first person. I need immersive cannibalism. Ragdoll definitely has to be in third person. I guess I'll change scripted and see. But then you like save it as a profile. So you save your camera profile and that's how it goes to the rest of your saves. Ah, oh, all right, that fixed it. Whew. Oh, scripted, see, chat got me. How long into your channel did recording videos and talking to yourself become not weird? Oh, it'll always be weird. Yeah, and it's never not weird. There are times where like, uh, since my mom lives only four or five minutes away, sometimes she'll like be over. She was over here when I first moved into town. She was doing like a lot of painting by the stairs and I was in here saying just weird things like, oh, we're gonna have steamy hot passive income sex. You know, just like saying ridiculous, Thank stupid you, things. <clears throat> and then in my head, I'm like, I hope no one heard that. <clears throat> I hope nobody heard that. Wanna know a weird sounding dish in English? I speak English. Me speak English. Punky Musu. Hope I said that right. Thank you for the prime. Sup Octo, thank you for three months. Triple Blue Butt, thank you for three months. Happy Gorilla Day. What is today Harambe's day? How does the punching look? Thank you, kind Ooh. sir. Half a year already. And hello to future Vod me. That looks good. 
All right, I want to get a weapon because I kind of do want to show off what precision looks like. I guess I might just have to go box my way to arming myself. Yeah. Did I miss the PowerPoint presentation? No, no PowerPoint presentation today. Ah, that's right. Starfield thinks that they can trick my brain into knowing that this is illegal in every game. Nope. The rules are different here. Thank you, kind sir. I do think that picking things up in these games should be illegal. Is that a hot take? Because I think it leads to ingenuity in terms of trying to steal items off of shelves. It does, it does lead to some frustrating moments where you accidentally lift something or move something and get arrested for it. But it's kind of funny. Jail for 1,000 years. Okay, we need work. I enjoy this work well enough, but I'm ready to retire. I've been thinking of saying... <gasps> I have firewood to sell. For honest work. 60 gold. Okay, not bad. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Let's sate that appetite, hmm? Get some food just so that we have it. I don't want to... never want to run out of food. It's a pain. Uh, and all my money is gone. Great. I've gotten so used to the last few challenges where I have to acquire everything by buying it. I ain't asking for much, just a few seconds. So I keep forgetting that I can just collect salt piles and find food that way. I spend a lot of time at the market stall, so You're getting paid to win. I know, I need to get out of this town. To it's too much of the same. And I need shoes. I'm tired of my feet just splapping around everywhere. They just sound wet. I'm constantly walking in a marsh. Although, if I leave this area, I'm going to get bodied immediately. Yeah, fuck it. It's about the adventure. Please never utter that sound again. My donut brain just tried to pause to walk the dog. Been watching too much VOD channel. All right, we can wait for you. You're walking the dog. <laughs> no way. You kidding me? There's so many things we haven't seen out here. I'm not taking bounty work for Whiterun. I've done too much of this nonsense here. I'm gonna go up to this cave. There's gonna be some bandits. I'm gonna fight them. I'm gonna kick their ass. Really like how the blunt weapons look with this mod, by the way. Precision. I've been hyping up precision and I haven't even gotten into a single fight, so hopefully this doesn't look like shit. Maybe we go to Riverwood? and then kind of move from Riverwood to Falkreath. I've always really enjoyed that walk. One of my favorite walks in all of Skyrim. Top 10 walks in Skyrim. White run to Riverwood. Sorry, no, Riverwood to Falkreath. That's gotta be top five. Uh, Winterhold to Windhelm. That could also land in the top five. It's very scenic, you hit the coast, you've got the mountains to your left or right, depending on the direction you're going. Uh, Dawnstar to Morthal, underrated walk. Iverstead to Riften, yes. Iverstead to Riften is probably number, ooh. This, I don't know, I think the best walk in, in Skyrim has to be that bend of the road right up ahead to Iverstead. That might be the best. You're along the river, you're up in the mountains a bit, it's very vertical, nah, nah, that's a good walk. That's a really good walk. Markarth to Falkreath around Lake Illinalta. Thank you, kind sir. Oh, Markarth. Mm. No, I would go Markarth to Solitude. I think that's a good walk. Oh, shit. Every 
Is the plan to go back to older games or do a mix of old stuff plus Starfield? Uh, we'll do a mix. We'll, def we'll, def we'll definitely do a mix. Like, there's still... There, there's still for sure. Like, there, there's going to be a lot of people um, that, you know, maybe, maybe they just don't like sci-fi. Maybe they just don't like Starfield. Because there's a lot of people that watch my channel that only like Fallout, right? There's, there's a lot of people that don't like Elder Scrolls at all. One thing that I really do want to do is get more... Come here. Oh, it, it feels... It, it, I almost feel more bad <laughs> with the elk when it actually recoils. I don't know if the MCM settings, by the way, for precision are universal between my characters. Because this did feel like it had a little bit more range. It was a little bit less precise. Could be the wolves. Now, Riverwood. Bam. That looks fucking good. That is like... If Skyrim was ever remade, that's what I think it looks like. Look, look, look. Up to the right. Bam. Bam. The blue sky, the white mountain, the green trees. Now that. Uh, what Riverwood mod? I believe that is all about JK's all in one. It could also be convenient bridges. 20 bucks if you can pronounce my name first try. Kakal Satarn. Did I get it? A dragon! Oh, I saw a dragon! Say it. Say it. She didn't say it. Well, this playthrough is... Ooh, let's get a follower. I never get a follower. You know what? I'm getting a follower. Hey, are you insecure and need help with your love life? I see you talking to Sven. Nope, he is insecure. <laughs> it, took him, it took him two seconds to be like, why, yes, I am incredibly non-confident in myself. Riverwood's agreeable enough, I suppose. For annoyed <clears throat> What's your problem with Sven? All right, we are going to answer the age-old question here. Feindal or Sven? He's a bard, so he says. Occasionally, he finds time to do his job here at the mill. Thinks his ballads and sonnets are going to convince Camilla Valerius to marry him. He says Camilla Valerius' yes. name with such disdain for somebody that loves her. Like her wouldn't fall for that Both are bad, based. They are. Both suck. We want Rufus back. I've been thinking. Could you, could you give her this letter and say it's from Sven? I think I've matched that Nord's lack of cleverness. Perfectly. All right, fine. We'll go get Rufus. He's still in my game. He's been in my game the whole time. Yeah, sorry about your uh, family drama and the store getting robbed, but... I have a letter for you. Now, I'm taking Sven. I'd say Sven is slightly worse given that he's literally racist. Well... Maybe we just root on Sven to die. <laughs> Maybe I let Sven do all the fighting. If he goes down, I'll take care of him. You what? Why that jealous idiot? Thought he could just manipulate me into never seeing Sven again? Thank you for telling me the truth. You should speak to Sven. You're kind of fuzzy. What's wrong with you? Watch it. Love the animations, uh, the pull-out and put-away animations that the um, comprehensive overhaul does. Like that? Badass. This? Mm. Oh! Like, that just feels like I'm getting ready for a fight, or I just kicked some ass, and it's like, that looks good. Love that. All right, Sven. You ready to quit your job and go on potentially dangerous adventures? Feindal thinks he can woo Camilla Valerius. Now that's what I like to hear. Good work. I think you deserve some gold from my tips at the inn. 
Lead the way. Yep. All right, let's go, buddy. Does he even have armor? Or does he just... I don't know. He just goes around in his clothes. All right, Sven, let's go get an adopted kid. Because that's what that's what we do. That That's what our goal should be right now. Ugh, I'm going to have to walk all the way back there on foot. I'm turning off survival mode for two whole seconds here. Fast travel is currently unavailable from this. Shut up. I'm not on survival mode anymore. Stop imposing your rules on me. Literally 1984. Honestly, I think that rain looks great. The sound reminds me of Morrowind. Oh yeah, that reminds me of Morrowind. Do do. Why can I not jump? I have had this mod installed in my game. I've never uninstalled it, ever. Ruby Cube, thank you for the hundred. Change bins, house, Chang Chang bins, house husband, thank you for the hundred bits. And T Bone, thank you for two hundred again. Oh shit! All right, Rufus, it's time to join your your dad's <laughs> wonderful adventure. You know what, Rufus, as long as you have parents who love you and take care of you, that's all that matters. Are you going to initiate dialogue? Here, this is for you. Look, we have your stupid son. You should probably go and get him. Sven, you should... Oh, she got rock joint! Get away from me! Ew, you're, you're contagious. See, like, oh, I just, I love that. That's what, I cannot get enough of that with this mod. Like, like when the, the, the ragdolls actually react. Here, this is for you. Oh. Did I get the note? Oh, damn it. I, I keep covering up the notes with textures that I use in editing. I think something's off with the mesh of that road so the blood appears underneath it. That rain is a little bit loud. Yeah, they want to get rid of Rufus so badly she didn't know that her ankles were currently being shredded. I need surgery in nine places, but at least I'm rid of that annoying child. Hold up. Time out. Now it's time for combat. Stupid skeletons. Ooh. Now the two-handed weapons, I have enjoyed quite a lot with this mod. Not per they're not perfect, but they do have moments where if you hit like a side swipe attack, the way the enemies fall is brilliant. Like if you hit one of these and it really connects, they're going to go flying in the direction that you hit them. Get some armor. Stendar. I kind of like this look. I forgot to put survival back on. Forgive me. All right, let's do a gamble. You guys want to gamble? I know you like gambling, chat. Uh, are there any mods in chat who could set it up? If not, I will. But let's do level three or death. Do I hit level three or do I die? Especially before I get into some fights here. I'll set it up. We don't like gambling. We love it. I know. I know you do. 
Level three. Oh gosh, I have caps lock on. Level three or death first. Level three. Believer. Believers are in blue. Non-believers are in red. You will have two minutes to Thank submit. You, kind sir. We haven't gambled in a while, so I want to see some fat bets on this. I'm going to do my best, though, to survive. Flutter, thank you very much for the prime. Any specific goal or just, fu just fucking around today to check the stability of all these mods? I would like to do some kind of survival challenge in quote-unquote Skyrim 2. Might want to do something about the vanilla kill cams. I'm not big on them. Or this rain. It's just loud. All in, 380 channel points. Which of these mods fix the animations? Comprehensive first person animation overhaul. That with immersive, oh my gosh, wait, is that the same lady? Mysterious woman, I'm here to save you. I'm here to save you. Don't steal my kill. No, Sven. I think you can hit multiple enemies if you swing through them. Because I'm pretty sure I did there. That looks good. I like the ore standing out a bit more. I've really only tested this with genuine gameplay for maybe about two and a half, three hours. Not long at all. Hopefully this mod doesn't... Ooh, I have not been in many caves. That looks good. That looks really good. I mean, this kind of the lighting right here, this hallway up, this just kind of gives me Morrowind vibes. The way the torches kind of light it up. This hallway, mm, a little too bright. I guess it's because they got a little sconce. Scone. Anybody like scones? Did you get water for ENB? No, I'm not. I'm going to avoid ENB. So I'm using community shaders with like the full suite of suggested community shaders mods. It's kind of a new thing, but it seems to be the new replacement for ENB. I think it's less resource heavy. I haven't looked into it a ton. But it seems to be a much easier to implement thing than ENB. Such a nibble you are. What? All right, kid, let's go. Be careful. Hey, Pa. What's going on? You're coming with me. We're going on an adventure. Oh, thanks, I guess. It's not too bad here. Lots of ladies to choose from. <laughs> and not a lot of clothes. I ain't afraid of the old hag. She treats us real good. Ah, uh, stop teasing me. Just let me get my things and say goodbye to everyone. What I, yeah, what I love about this kid is that their whole entire plan was to eat him. Like this child right here, Yord. Can I? This doesn't concern you, citizen. I know, I just want to talk to him. Just just make it stop. Okay, <laughs> this is this is so beyond fucked. I'm not strong enough to save him. Thank you, kind sir. This rejuvenates me. Akrath, thank you so much for the tier one. I feel rejuvenated as well. All right now, let's see if I can like baseball bat hit my kid. I want to see if precision works with him well. Like, can I just bonk him? Oh yeah! <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Come on, kid, let's play baseball. Oh. <laughs> Holy shit. This is incredible. This is actually Skyrim 2. If you're not playing this way, you're not playing Skyrim. Yes, yes, I haven't got all, day. all videos from now on shall be filmed in Skyrim 2. Can you play baseball in your version of Skyrim? All right, kid. 
Yeah, you want to make sure. You want to step up in the batter's box. All right. Step and drive. Oh, I missed. Okay, let's try it again. Holy shit, Thank he goes time, far. Sir. So it looks like it always swings to the left. So if I want to clear him down the hill, Sven, get out of the way. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. This is the greatest game ever made. Um, actually, it's more of a platform than it is a gift. Shut the fuck up. I don't care. <laughs> Whatever the hell it is. Oh, get him. Battle music. Good work, son. I'm proud of you. How the hell did that miss? Open your eyes. Mama says I don't have the knack for reading. Mama? Smell you later. Who's mom? You mean other dad? We created <laughs> me and Sven, we created Rufus together through a Thank horrid you, act of sir. necromancy. He's not actually human. Blind Machine, thank you for the prime. And uh, Ruby Cube, I might have missed that, but thank you for gifting a tier one. Hey, what's going on? Oh, I thought that was a broken texture. That's just the walk. That's like the plank. It looks like it's floating, though. Right? Doesn't it kind of look like... Oh, yeah, now you load in. Okay. I thought it looked like a Fortnite build. Like, that, that. it looked like the kind of structure you would see in Fortnite after a battle had already taken place and everybody there was dead. Thank you, kind sir. Is Sven a masculine woman? No, no, Sven... Sven's just... Just a dude. See this giant fucking hammer covered in blood? It's my son's blood. Not really an Not really <laughs> the blood of my enemies. It's the blood of my child. You see, I'm not afraid to hit my Thank own you kid. You think I'm afraid of you? Huh. Tough talk for someone who's about to have their guts spilled. Bad time to get lost. Oh, no way. Holy crap. Rufus. <laughs> Dude, are you OK? Oh, and now he's getting hit with arrows? Oh, God. I'm not dying here. Why is there no sound effect? Okay, that's good. Ow! Fucker. Rufus, charge the enemy! Okay, we need ranged attacks. I need a bow. You take the lead, kid. Onward, onward. We can't lose any troops. Oh, Sven's got his ankle. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, thanks for backing me up, Roof. Don't steal my kills. Uh, why is it raining again? Oh, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. Off for Billy from four. Don't hit me! Okay, no one up here. Bet your ass I'm taking this fight seriously. Ah, oh, you... I'm dead. They're gonna be right behind me. Oh my god, no way! Thank you, kind sir. So happy I started using Twitch again and found your channel. No fucking way! That was so cold. I was playing good Skyrim there. I was I was in good form. I was playing well. Not knowing the physics and how everything was gonna connect and work out, I was playing well. Oh my gosh. Okay, congratulations to the non-believers. Once again. Oh my god, 71% believed? Wow.
That's one of the most lopsided wins we've ever seen. All right. Let's do it again. Let's see. I'm going to give you guys five minutes to submit here. Okay, that didn't work out well. I even have a huge advantage with these two. I need a sword. I'm better with a sword. I take so much damage. It's gotta be the balancing from Blade and Blunt. I'm just not used to it yet. Like, wait, I couldn't even heal myself to full? Weird. Let's go Iron Mace. Yeah, we should probably go with the shield. Favorite the shield so I can bounce between shield and flames. But I should have a lot of new spells in the game. Who is that? There is an anonymous person. What a grand and intoxicating it is. I'm a god. I'm, I'm keeping my dance moves reserved today, okay? Whoever out there is anonymous, thank you very much. I appreciate you so much. We're giving out five to the community. And uh, hey, it's Sarcasm. So happy I started using Twitch again and found your channel. I'm so happy that you started using Twitch again and you came over here. Need a mod for Billy from Fallout 4. I don't know if that would be possible, but it would be really fun to have Billy Supreme or Billy 2.0, Billy Reloaded, and Rufus all in one. It would be awesome. You're a turned unbeliever? I think that's a bad call. I need to, I need to stop encouraging believers. I'm just going to start telling people, you know what? Just don't believe. There's no point. Okay, wait, hold on. Oh. Don't load in, I was gonna make my point about Fortnite. All right, there are plenty of ways to get- Oh, they're attacking the deer in the river. Stop it. Thank you, kind sir. I'm a believer most of the time. God, that has to take so much energy. Honestly. US Marines, they're brave, but Believers in my Twitch chat, they might be braver. Hold it. This, this here's a toll road, see? Ah, oh, they're so good at always... <laughs> I love this. The reactions are actually pretty ridiculous. They like flinch too when you hit them. So if you hit them in their head, they're gonna. Yeah, I needed a sword. Let's go. Let's favorite these. Double check. Of course, I have no lockpicks. Why would I? Swing trap right above me. What are you aiming at? Where's my son? Oh God, <laughs> there he is. I found him. Ow. Okay, it's time to go. I'm not dealing with this anymore. Turtle mode, hold him off, Sven. Oh, that was a headshot. Yeah, right through the side of my brain. Gosh, who knew that the land of Skyrim could be this oppressive? Dark Elves, but besides Dark Elves, who knew that the land of Skyrim could be this oppressive and mean? Surely things will only get easier if we keep going down here. This is hard. Why was I not recording during that? Why was I not recording during, where's my son? To immediately just see my son cartwheeling through the air. <laughs> just flying through. 
<coughs> Sorry, I should mute my mic before I do something gross like that. Bad etiquette. Bad streamer. Ooh, dead bodies? Gore? That sounds great. I think that's probably my favorite mod. The... Are you yelling at me? Good to see you. Barnacle cluster should grab those. <clears throat> I don't know if I want to go into that cave. Why fight cave when goat near you? Should be able to just sneak up on him. Really? The water's killing me? Freezing cold? It, where it's the... Uh, it looks like it's springtime. Carefully approach your target. They're running, but they're in range. One down. Take his flesh. Goat horns, no. Leg of goat, we can cook that up. I have the salt piles to do it. Okay, this is definitely convenient bridges. I love this. I don't know why, but crossing bridges in Elder Scrolls games is like a top five euphoric experience. What is it about bridges? They just make me feel like I'm on an adventure. Like that bridge in Morrowind, uh, right before you go up to get the Dwemer puzzle box. The first time I ever crossed that bridge when I was like 12, 11, 13, however old, probably 11. First time I ever crossed that bridge, I was like, this is the greatest adventure I've ever been on. Nothing will come close to this. And then I got my shit rocked. Ooh, I got an idea. I got an idea. Okay. Rufus, I choose you. Go out there and distract him. I cast Rufus. Distracting. Ooh, grab this. Potions. Okay, you didn't really do a good job of dist distracting. <laughs> We're going to get out of here. Go, kid. I'm never getting to level three. We're just gonna keep reloading the same gamble until the believers eventually win one. My problem with the gambles is that every time the believers win, it's always so easy. The non-believers always win the close calls. There's maybe been two occurrences where the believers won and it was a close gamble. Do I have my sword? Yeah, I like the sword a lot more. I don't remember which mod it is, but I think it's slash effects, but it adds that cool little trail to the sword and it just adds just enough to like the sword swinging to where when you're playing, it feels way more impactful. <gasps> the revelers, come on, son. I found you uh, drunk uncle. Thank you, kind sir. Yes? You're supposed to offer me a drink. Oh, there you are. Hail, friend. It's, it's good, good to see you. another merry face. Soul merry soul. Ah, but you look tired. Come, share a bottle of hunting brew mead with... RK, no worries. Hopefully we can, uh... Hopefully we can win for you, if you are believing. Light Hero, thank you for the prime. Uh, and Jennifer, thank you for the 100 bits. Sorry, I missed that. Chenergy, thank you for six months. Ah, nothing like buying spirits to help raise your... Well, your spirits. Cheers, my friend. May your adventures find you fame and fortune. Thank you. Ma said she'd take me hunting soon. 
I can't wait. I bet I'll bring down a man. Stop referencing your mother. She doesn't exist. She's a figment of your imagination. Sweets are always good. I forgot that this little dickhead always takes money from you. Here, hold on to this booze for me. Thank you, kind sir. Mm -hmm. No, I'm not going to kill the... I can't kill the revelers. Honestly, we should just journey with them, see where they go. We've done this before. Right, when we played Skyrim without leaving the road, which was like a year and a half ago now at this point. We found the revelers, we walked with them. Eventually they ditched us and left the road. Oh, this is driving me crazy, my hair clipping through. Actually unplayable. Best feature in all Bethesda games. Dragons are coming back. I want to kill okay, lighting change? That was kind of crazy. Uh, do any of you guys have a bow and arrow or something? I've got your back. Sorry, but could you watch my kid for a minute? I saw a dragon in Helgen. Nah. What do you want me to carry? What does he have? Ooh, he does have a bow. Iron dagger, that's not gonna work. Let's give him the two-handed hammer. Yeah, he'll throw that bad boy on. Do I have any armor? I think that'll look cooler than his outfit. He looks corny in his current outfit. Oh, that's right, it's different. You don't force equip in Skyrim. They equip based on stats. Wait, why? I don't think I murdered that goat, did you? Okay, I was hoping, I, I was nervous for a second. I was like, was that a domesticated goat? I hope not. Goat hide, useless. I, I think this, this still pisses me off to this day about Skyrim that goat hide for so long is the most frustratingly useless hide in the entire game. It's expensive and you need three goat hide to translate into one leather. I'm almost positive. I think it's three goat hide to get one leather. It's pointless. It's heavy. It's cumbersome. Buff goat hide, please. Bethesda, please. Hold on, who's that trailing bus? Oh my gosh, the road is popping today. Look at that, Vigilant Sustendar. Okay, we, we need to follow this. If we have a group of two, a group of three, and then my group of three, we have eight total people in one traveling caravan. Let's just keep going. Let's see how long we can keep them all alive or as many of them as we can. I wish I could change their names. At least just be Reveler 1, 2, and 3. So far so good, although we are coming up on... Ooh, we've got wolves. Can I turn off kill moves? Honestly, the kill moves are less satisfying at this point than just slicing through and letting the physics do their thing. I've never seen this. Friendly fire among wolves. Ah. Good work, son.
That was close. As long as we stay ahead of our adventuring friends, we should be able to keep them alive. Although if we ever do need help, they'll be easy to call upon. It is weird, you know, trying to get used to the collision. Because sometimes you swing and you hit things behind you. Or to the side. Like you can hit things at the end of your swing or right at the start. Whole gang is together. Thank you, kind sir. Hit me. Hey, you, Kev, Kev, I could never. Could you Thank you for 14 months. I already do give you an allowance. What are you talking about? You, you take money from me all the time. The suffering the Ma took me to the market. <sighs> Skyrim is ours. He's right about one thing. Goat hide should be equal to the wolf pelt. It should. Arguably better. You're going to kill way more wolves than you will goats. And that's just by nature of feeling bad for killing the goats. Oh no, it's starting to get cold. How cool would it be if the survival weather effects had an effect on the wandering NPCs on the road? Like, you know how in Oblivion... I'm trying to think of how it works in Oblivion again. It's like... Sven, put the hammer down. I'm trying to think how it works in Oblivion with food. I think if an NPC has lunch in their schedule in Oblivion and they don't have food in their inventory, they do buy it and they go to like a specific place. Uh oh, what is that? Oh, it's just a fox. We're good. It's all good. I'm hungry. So am I. Holy shit, we're almost at Windhelm? That looks good. Right through the clearing. I don't really like the rush of snow that I'm seeing up there, though. It looks like it could be an ice wraith. I doubt it's an ice wraith, but you never know. Um, but back to what I was saying. In, like, Oblivion, the NPCs have a thing where at least at some point they're, they're like, trying to get a, a thing of food. And there's a setting in Oblivion that's, like, it's really hidden. It's, like, a really hidden descriptor that each NPC has that will say if they don't have food and they are below a certain value, then this NPC will actually try and steal it rather than buying it like the vast majority of NPCs do. So I wonder if that system could be applied to like survival and the weather in Skyrim. So then you'd have NPCs that they would look for shelter or they would look for warmer clothing. Does that make sense or am I crazy? There is a mod for that. Oh. Well, I want that. That's what I should be looking for. In terms of making Skyrim 2, I should be looking for mods that enhance the general sandbox. Surprise. <laughs> no way I'm dying to wolves. I'm actually going to die to wolves. Yeah, we gotta go. I'm freezing my ass off. You stand around watching for. Are we going to get shelter? Can we please go get shelter? I'm not gonna lie, I'm surprised we survived. Wait, did I get rock joint? Thank you, kind sir. <laughs> oh no. Uh, 
Why? Cure disease. That's right. I remembered. Cure disease. All right, we've got Reveler 1, 2, Reveler 3, Vigilance of Stendar. Did they take a different route? Hold on, these gentlemen look like they're going somewhere else. I think they're, they, they have to be going to a pub. Farm work is hard. I'm getting really cold though. Can I warm myself up? There's a fire up ahead of us, I believe. Wait, Rufus, let me stand by your torch. I forgot the torches help with it. Brandy Mug Farm. Oh, Brandy Mug! We kill her all the time when we play with the randomizer. All right, I gotta warm up in here for a sec. Stand in the fire. Skill book. I think the believers are in good shape. God, this is taking forever. Feel warmer, but still chilly. I'm literally standing in the fire. Hold on. Good timing. Just make a quick bite. Let's go. If they disappeared, I'm going to be really sad. Reveler? Couldn't have gotten that far ahead, but they probably despawned. No. Oh, I think they did. There's no way if they walked, they would have gotten this far. Okay. Who are we fighting? Who are you fighting? Who's over here? Come on out, with your hands up. What the hell? Whoa, why? I, I don't know why I felt worse about that one. But why the hostile goat? Next video when I would hope sometime next week we'll have our first Starfield video out. It's been a pain, but also honestly really fun and rewarding getting and trying to get cinematic shots like we do in all the other Bethesda games. So it'll take a little bit. Isaac is doing his thing with the gameplay highlights and that kind of stuff. I'm trying to work on scripting and getting really good in-engine cinematic shots to tell the ridiculous and stupid story of our time going through the Crimson Fleet questline and trying to figure out how to make a copious amount of drugs. I still have no clue what to title it. I was honestly thinking of like how to be criminal in Starfield. No, that doesn't have a good ring to it. That doesn't have any zest. Revelers? These look like bandits. It's a broken... You ready, boys? I'm warning you back. There's a third one behind us. Unless that's an echo. It's an echo. I don't know if you all can hear that because it's very faint. I'm warning 
Who the hell are you? Vacation is where the head is. That is what Devenna told us about her master. He's cozy in his solitude. The master has gone, but Devenna will find Go, 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 go. They're distracted. Oh, that shock lightning is insane. Whew. Oh, no, there was a third. You son of a. Ugh. I hate losing. I hate losing. Oh, damn it. Uh, that was the right play, too. Okay, 119,000 points are going back over to the non believers. Congratulations. But now I'm, I'm level two. I'm pretty much level two. But we're going to do the same thing level three or death. What happens first? Five minutes of submissions. There's a third one in there. Yeah, I'm not going to chance it. Huh. From 4K to 18K. Do I even play? Yes, I play this game. Quite a lot. I like to think I'm pretty good at it. Although I think I'm I'm good at Skyrim in under stupid circumstances. This is hard, though. Genuinely, like playing it with just a different rule set for combat. I don't know the rules. You know, I don't know. It looks like ranged weapons do a lot of damage. I don't really know how Blade and Blunt combines with vanilla survival mode. Obviously, I'm struggling, though. This is good practice. Are you guys a fan of camera noise? Hey. I don't like camera noise. There's a setting in here with like, what is, it? is it head bob? I don't think it's head bob. Camera. No. Tools? No. Ouch. Hey. Oh. Oh. Mm. I don't remember. It's like, maybe not do, no way. I love survival. It's tough, especially when you end up in some of the colder areas, but I love it. I think it's way more fun. Oh my, oh, that's actually kind of, I'm actually frozen. My hands are completely frozen. <laughs> that's a nice little touch. Okay, well, hopefully the water doesn't kill me. Jump. You a wizard or something? I don't even know what I am. Maybe we can make a few bucks. I haven't been to Windhelm in a while. Honestly, I feel like the last time I was here was when we region locked wind. No, we came here. Um, the randomizer, the door randomizers brought us here quite a few times. Ooh, I like the look of that. Get back to work. Need something. That is nice, actually, if they flesh out the gray quarter a little bit. Because yes. I don't think I've seen any, you know, unnamed refugees. Like, there's a rat running around. I always thought the gray quarter was a little underwhelming. 
it doesn't paint the picture of Dunmer, you know, poverty in Windhelm that well. Well, I guess these flags make it look a little bit happier. Okay, I guess at the end of the day, they added one rat and one guy hammering a pole. It doesn't add that much to it. Yeah, but I love myself some bridges. Need something. Yeah, this is a nice touch. Mm -hmm. Oh, fire. Owned? And what might you need? Mm -hmm. Warmth? A clean bed? A hot meal? A tavern wench? Something to make me feel at home. I think Windhelm looks great, though. How can Elda hate the dark elves? Uh, annoying fan. Sorry, I missed that. Thank you for the two months. You are not annoying. Very much the opposite. Poor Nilsen has this here's Candleheart Hall. Great rooms upstairs. And there's a bed for rent on the ground floor. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. All right. I need a job. My son. I need enough money to get rid of my son. I can't afford a babysitter. Here. Take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty. Oh, there. God. Really? Where I just was? I'll show you to your room right this way. Okay, maybe after I level up, I'll be able to take those guys on. Yeah. Okay, we're going to spend some time in Windhelm. Let's practice a little bit. Spend some time in town. Get to know the people. This is why I do like survival mode a lot more, though, because I feel like in Skyrim, at least vanilla Skyrim, and because I've, like, obviously, I mean, who the hell hasn't at least played a casual Skyrim run for 10 hours? Like, it is a very low skill floor, like a very, very low skill floor to just like play the game and you're slaying shit and you're moving through the game and you're, you know, either having a good or a bad time, whatever. Whether you enjoy it or not, I don't give a shit. You're killing things. Um, but <laughs> there's always a fun portion of, I think, fantasy. Or I, I guess like my ideal fantasy, you know, universe where... You're uh, think of Kingdom Come Deliverance when you do when you start off in Kingdom Come Deliverance, you're just kind of a village idiot who can't really do anything that well. So when you first tackle that band of uh, like bandits and you're like, yeah, yeah, I helped out my village. Like, I feel like that's it's kind of a fantasy trope helping out the local village. But I kind of like that. And I feel like survival mode or if you do a little bit like a, a more difficult kind of playthrough like right now. There is a band, or there is a gang of bandits right outside of town that fucked my shit up. And I want revenge on the bastards. And I want to help out the town. You know, I, I don't know. I just think that that's fun. I like that. It's corny. It's, it's cliche. But I love camp. There. I said it. Although that's not really like a super hot take or anything. I think there's a lot of people that enjoy stuff that's a little bit campy and comfortable. That's why people still play Skyrim. It's comfortable. It's like a warm blanket. I'm gonna go Stam. Let's go Stam. Let's go. Ooh, 25% with Merchant 1? I'm taking it. Love that. Actual solid level one buff to speech. I think that looks really good. Not what's happening in front of me right now. Whoa. 
I think it's a little bit too mossy. Oh, but down here, though, the moss looks great. A little bit of clipping with some of the snow. Not ideal, but I think it makes the... Are you talking about me? You talking about my ass? It's a it's a it transitions between some textures a little bit awkwardly. And I don't know if the mossy road really fits. Ooh, whoa, something's going on here. <laughs> there's an there's an awkward combination between some of the textures I'm using. Like the pile of snow doesn't fit the spring look of the mossy road. Oh, this looks nice though. huge whoa where the hell does this go oh my gosh it's like i really am playing skyrim 2 where am i going secret backdoor entrance something's gonna kill me back here there's a skeever huh pointless but Kind of fun. I'm a big fan of JK's. Uh, what is it, JK's Skyrim? I always make too many strips. Leather Scout, I like the look of it. I could use the armor as well. No shield? Bit of a bummer. Still, this should keep me alive a bit better. Because what, what I have for armor, 35? Yeah, now we're up to 83. I get to see up close. And I actually look like I can kill something. Take a look. Oh, bye. Mm. Iron ore? That might have been a bad trade. I was going to temper my sword, but now that I think about it, that might have been a dumb trade. Should have just gone with a steel weapon. Steel sword, 125? Oh. Hold on, wait. Yes. Steel sword. 125, I will take it. And then you can take back the iron sword. Yeah. That should do well. I lost my twin sister a while back. How we doing on food? Leg of goat. Mm, none of it's cooked. And I only have 19 gold. I should have enough. What are the debuffs from being peckish? Stamina is reduced. Attacks of weapons 10% slower. Less effect 30% with shields. Damn, it's still a pretty solid debuff. So yeah, I'll see if I can just buy one thing of food. Welcome. Oh, let me know if you want anything. Got some fresh drink for the thirsty, food for the hungry. Why call it Skyrim 2? So I, I, I call it Skyrim 2 both just kind of as like a joke um, about how many times Skyrim has been re-released, but also mainly because I, with like the stuff I've put into it, want to keep it as close to like the spirit of vanilla as possible without getting over the top. I think the biggest problem is that sometimes the lighting is a little bit too, this just feels like a little, it feels a little bright. In terms of the look of it, I think sometimes it's a little bright. Or like right here, this looks just a tad oblivion. Mm-hmm. 
a little too well lit in some places. Windhelm look yeah, like there there are a few. I think Windhelm looks a little off. This side of Wind although maybe Yeah, it's still green over here. I was like, it would be cool if it was a complete split in half. It'd be kind of in your face thematically. Uh but it would be kind of cool if the gray quarter didn't have any of like the nice little mossy road that looked happy in spring. Hi, mister. Would you like to buy some flowers? <laughs> I don't even Steph, we happen to be honest. I don't know if I can afford them. No. Only one thing is on my mind and it's my bounty. Okay. Up here. Don't fall in the water. Can I hit that jump? All right. We got to move quick. Otherwise, I'm going to start freezing. taking out this bounty though I'm done screwing around the bounty goes down I'm still gonna get my ass kicked aren't I why do I never invest in camping supplies I always fuck that up never invest in camping In before two-handed bandit chief insta kill. Why would you bring those bad vibes to me? Stop it. I don't need that. Because that's probably how I'm gonna die. The bounty hunter. Okay, sniper in the window. I'm already a little bit cold. I'm getting out of here. No, you're not. No, you're not. Where's Sven? Oh, they're coming. They're coming. Nice way to get her to stumble. Wait, why do you do so much damage, Rufus? It's kind of overpowered. Holy shit, there's like five of them in there. Suppressing fire. Oh, I'm dead. No, 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 no. Yeah, game over. I gotta go around the back. Gotta go around the back. Come on. Get up. Get up there. Get on the chimney. Corner. Corner's climbable. Magic potion. Let's go, Sven. What a play. Hit the flank in the back. Finish him. Holy health. Oh, God. Don't come after me. Attack my son. Okay, don't stay locked onto Rufus. Did I step on a bear trap? Kind of an epic fight. Let's go. Oh God, another one, <laughs> another one. That's how a bounty does it. A bounty hunter. That's how a bounty hunter does it. Bounty secured, bag him and tag him. That was really, really fun. I'm surprised we got out of it. Ooh, a little, 
Yeah, a longbow. Wait, what am I doing? I need to loot literally every item that I can. I need all the money I'm able to get. All right, cool stuff. Resist magic. Absolutely massive. Steel Warhammer? Is that an upgrade for Sven? Banded, iron armor, iron boots, iron gauntlets, iron helmet. Oh yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Now Sven. Still here. Let's upgrade Sven. What do you want me to carry? Oh, I have an amethyst I haven't sold yet. Okay, take. Hmm. That's actually not a bad one since I have been using my shield, but we'll go. Take the banded iron armor. Iron boots, gauntlets, helmet. Hey, hold on. Now you just look like the Skyrim guy. That's me. Lead on. Salt piles. I know bandits love their salt piles. Now, I, I don't know if you could tell, but... It, at least on my end, I think that the reactions when you hit enemies and they Move it, move it. Oh, yeah. Other backpack. Does that look cool? Uh, I don't know if I like the look of that one. Do we go fur backpack with bedroll or leather back leather backpack? Yeah, leather backpack just looks better. Sven, you can take the fur. Right you. What do you want me to carry? Fur backpack bedroll. You lead, I'll follow. That was huge. Now we're cooking. Mammoth steak? Hey. Salmon steak? Oh yeah. We can use this as like a home away from home. There's a fire pit in here, we can cook, there's beds. Do I still not have a lockpick? No, I do. Two. Oh, it's so good to be back. Been doing too much digi picking lately. Yeah. Treasure map. Can I read the treasure map through my Stupid, um... Now there's a fire pit that looks like a noose alongside the road going to a city. But it's covered up in whatever texture I was using for a video. I was saying about- Oh, sorry, I totally cut myself off. But, um, the, the reactions of when you swing the sword and it hits an enemy and you hit them in their head and they actually, you know, will slightly react to it. And they're like, it's very subtle, but then on the kill shot, their body will move with the hit. Pussy Villa one. It's still in my game. Lighthouse? No, it's not a lighthouse. It might be hard to see. It looks like a castle. S not solitude. Mountains behind it. With a three leveled tower. Oh, a fort. It's got to be a fort. The ne it's probably the nearest fort from here, I would assume. So we haven't had any, um, I haven't updated you all on my anime journey in a while. And I haven't, I haven't watched any new anime since I watched Monster, but literally yesterday I started watching because I, I have no plans on watching all 1700 episodes of One Piece. That's just way too much. So I was like, you know what? I've heard really good things about the Netflix adaptation. I know, shocker. So I decided to watch it. 
and uh i think it's fucking awesome <laughs> i think it's awesome so are there any one piece fans in chat i thought it was so fun i thought all the characters were so fun i thought the highlight of the show were the the main villains that i've seen so far especially the clown uh buggy is his name whoever played that guy did probably the best i've ever seen like it was so good i like i was like sitting there like i was laughing my ass off the majority of the time through it it was fairly low stakes fun pirate adventure it was like pirates of the caribbean meets um uh like a it's hard to describe but it, i had a lot of fun with it and i was like oh cool so i don't know maybe i'll watch a couple seasons of it see how far it gets and then at some point in the future decide okay i'll pick up the anime roughly where this left off i know there's differences and stuff like that that they probably changed but i, <laughs> I was really surprised i was like wait this is not this is not terrible you can start at like episode 250 now netflix will cancel it they will they, they they netflix sees like because i watched i think four episodes yesterday so netflix will view that as like ugh. they stopped watching after four episodes in a row clearly they don't enjoy this because like the way they i'm pretty sure the way netflix looks at their metrics is like they like binge watches you know like when stranger things come out a lot of people watch the entire thing in one sitting it's like dead on scene for scene. oh so there was one the the one thing that surprised me the most about it watching it so far is that a lot of times when they do like a live action anime when they try to take anime action and put it live action it looks pretty bad but all of the special effects i thought were really well done and looked really good outside for outside of one scene so small spoilers here but there's a scene and this is right when i stopped watching it last night where i was like okay i need to i'm gonna take a break because i'd been watching it for a while there's a scene where one of the characters launches and throws a cannonball and luffy luffy like breathes in a lot of air to catch the cannonball in his gut and like fire it back and it looks so bad it looked so bad it was really really funny but like all his other abilities when he did when he did like his stretchy stuff the way that they did it looked really good i was like holy shit how did they do this um i thought what's his face zoro was badass and funny and really good i thought they were all great which is good I'm glad that I enjoyed it as much as I did because obviously One Piece has so many episodes and has such a big fan base for a reason that's like dedicated and has watched it or read it as long as they have. And I felt like I was missing out. I, I just, I can't do all of the episodes. It's just far too much for me. It's too intimidating. So I'm glad that there's a little bite-sized version that appears to be well liked by the fan base of the show of like the base show or manga whichever it seems like people enjoy it but yeah i just wanted to say i have watched it or i've watched about half of it and so far i really enjoy it Twenty-two armor on that shield. Twenty-four. Well, guys, we'll go with the banded iron. It looks a little. Uh, I don't know. I kind of like a wood shield. I like the standard iron armor look or iron shield look. Hold on, I'm min maxing right now. Mom, get out of my room. I'm min maxing. Ooh, why did I sell that? Why did I sell that? 
Oh my gosh, now I get burned for like an extra 40 gold? Fine, keep the steel ingot. I won't temper my sword. I need to go find leather though so we can temper our armor. Hmm. I have two. Okay. I guess I'll buy a lockpick. Whether it's armor you need or a new blade, come see me. Oh wait, that's the that's the gal who's obsessed with Ulfric. I could disenchant this right now and all the non-believers lose. Wait, there is a gamble going on, right? Quick question, has anyone played Lies of P? I have not played Lies of P. I have heard that it is like, I've heard it's great uh, and it's a great Souls-like, which is good, that's awesome. I've also heard that it's like, arguably the hardest Souls-like ever. <laughs> Which is like, I'm out. I couldn't even finish Elden Ring. That game was hard. And everybody's like, oh, it's the easiest Souls game. <laughs> On what fucking planet? I I play a little bit of the original Dark Souls. I, I really like it. I love the gameplay loop. It just is a little bit, well, it's a little intense. Hold on. Oh, wait, we got the bounty. Let's turn it in. I heard it was mid. What was mid? Liza P. I mean, everything I've seen, it looks like great. What I love, I, it looks, uh, I think, <coughs> um, I think it was, is it Iron Pineapple? Is that the YouTube channel? They do a lot of Souls-like stuff. Um, they were just talking about it, but all the footage that I saw, the bosses and the characters, the way that they're designed to look like this uh, fucked up version of like toys and it's like a toy box with like horror elements. And that's how the bosses were like, and the enemies were drawn up. I loved it. Just like the it's art of it was really bread. cool. Good cheese if you're after a bite to eat. Enjoy your Sorry, I'm being goofy. Don't we have to go to the, the thing. Mind you, don't get fresh with Susanna. She plays the flirt, but it's just to get good tips. Bloodborne is God. Never played Bloodborne. I would definitely play it, if it was on PC. Baffling game to never get a PC port. Like. Won't give us a straight answer. He's a true Nord. He'll come around. Don't be so sure of that. Okay, this does not look good. They say Ulfric Stormcloak murdered the High King with his voice. Mm -mm. Shouted him apart. Nope. What you have I don't know what it is. If he's not with us, he's against I need us. to take a screenshot here, and I need to go back to vanilla and see what it looks like. But this. This is not Sky. This is Skyrim point three. If by message you mean shoving a sword, if you have any news of the Western Holds, excellent. You've done us a great service. Here is your reward. Hundred gold. Any more work? Terrible shame. What happened? No. Ernest, then. I do the cooking and cleaning around the palace. I still say you should take them all. I adore the idea of edgy Pinocchio because it sounds so silly. It does sound silly. Sony can't do ports or their console sales will dip. Well, like, imagine if they did a Bloodborne. <gasps> Don't tell me it's the infinite loading screen of death. I think it is. That's actually pretty good, though. I mean, we did a lot of open world exploration. Did a couple of quests. We got pretty far without it actually crashing
That's a pretty good sign. But yeah, it did crash right there. I think that I have something goofing up. Windhelm has just felt strange. Something's off. But to your point about Sony porting games, if they ported Bloodborne to PC, and then a year later, they go, Bloodborne 2, only on PS5. Guess what? A lot of people would probably, who became fans of Bloodborne, who played it on PC, would be like, damn, now I want to get a PlayStation. One word to describe yourself. Thank you, kind sir. Um... Juve. That's how I would describe myself. It's not really an adjective. Or is it? Is it a name? A proper noun? An adjective? A verb? He's a true Nord. He'll Nobody back. knows. Don't be so sure of that. We've intercepted couriers from Sol You hear that voice? The Empire's putting a great deal of pressure on White Run. You hear that what voice? You have me do? Hey! If he's not with us, he's against us. He knows that. Fallout 4, they cool. Know that. How long? I'm not much. If you have any news of the way, excellent. You've done us a great service. Here is your reward. If by message you mean shoving a sword through his gullet. Yeah. Taking his city and leaving him in disgrace. Um, I want to say that that is the vault sales rep. So we're ready to start this war. That is, that's the vault sales rep. Soon. Prove me wrong. Galmar. Somebody look it up right now. Galmar Stonefist voice actor, vault rep uh, voice actor. The voice he's doing right there is much closer to the vault rep after you find him when the nukes go off. Calling it. Thank you, kind sir. So, can we do a run where every time Juve dies, he has to drink homemade skooma? Was I right? Booyah. Staying safe, Can we do a run where every time I die, I have to drink homemade skooma? I'm not too sure about that. I don't, I don't know about that one. What the hell? Isn't skooma like cocaine? Can I do that? Can wait? Can you do cocaine on Twitch? Is that? Against TOS, or is that chill? Are you planning to play Cyberpunk? I'm not gonna lie, I kinda want to. Uh, so I've played a little bit in my free time, and the changes to 2.0, Cyberpunk is totally region lockable. There's a lot of fun that we could have if we uh, played the game without leaving Watson. Which Watson would be the prologue or act one. Because the game does actually lock you into that area. I was the guy on Twitter watching your VODs with the newborn. Oh, thank you so much. Here for our first stream. Tell the newborn I said hi. Congratulations on the kid. That's awesome. Skuma is like a mix of opium and meth. I mean, we could just do like kick exclusive streams and it'll be like putting skooma up my butt or something wild. No, never mind. No, we're not doing. We're, I would never. I don't think I would ever want to uh, stream there. To be completely honest, a lot, of, a lot of shady characters on that side of the Internet. I don't haggle. Take a look. Thank you for your custom. I can't say that in front of a newborn. Oh, you're right. You're right. Sorry. 
my baby's first words were skooma in ass. <laughs> Finally, a stream I can get behind. Yeah, you guys want it? Butt chugging skooma, day four. Hashtag uh, or exclamation point rules. Yeah, and just so that we could have, you know, the PowerPoint slideshow to let everybody know what's going on. Where do you want to go? How are you out here in short sleeves? Why is the carriage guy just an absolute stud? Should we go join the Mages College? Yeah, let's do it. Climb and back and we'll be off. Fuck it. Why not? Let's go join the Mages College. Can't I can use some quality education. Fifty percent cold resist, true. Exclamation point recipe. Is Fen allowed to go to school? Where'd you get that cloak? I like this town already. The Jarl fancies himself the pub in town. Man of the people. I'm sorry, could you describe this? Unless you're bringing me another round, you monster was turned inside out and then exploded. What did you do? It was a minor miscalculation. I've already corrected this. This is why people have a problem with your college, Nelikar. Oh, I thought he was going to talk about me. Just stoke the fire. Take a seat and get the cold out. If there's anything you need, sure thing. It's yours for a day. Here, take a look at this. I'll show you to your room. Snowpoint beacon. All right, then. He's just a whiny, racist, less cool version of Ulfric. Is he? Oh yeah, you know what? He is. Uh, although his 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 issue, he doesn't like uh, high elves. <laughs> he's racist against high elves, so that means he's like probably the least racist person in Skyrim. Stormvales, thank you for four months. I'd send just about anything if it's worth my time. Keep that in mind, will you? Something is going on. The lighting is just a bit off. If I can fix the lighting. Although this looks good. Early morning, I think this looks really good. It's all gray. Yeah, you ever been outside when it's fucking snowing? That's what, that's what it's like when it snows outside. The way is dangerous and the gate will not open. You shall not gain entry. Hello, Retro. Is this place? Ooh, whoa, hey, whoa, what's up with those? I want those robes. Those are cool. I would like to join your club. I am here to assist, and if in the more important question is time out, chat one sec. Could you give me an allowance? Oh
how can you kill a god? What a grand and intoxicating innocence. I'm a god. How can you kill a god? Shame on you, sweet Zarabar. All right, sorry. I uh, still some of the after effects after I had COVID are like there's just gross shit inside Thank my head. You, kind sir. It's still a pleasure. I love the vods on you. Thanks for your work. Arcade, that is so that is so kind of you. You had COVID? I did. I had COVID. Yeah. Um, I went to a good friend of mine's uh, wedding last weekend. Um, got COVID there, was super sick, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Brutal. And then, unfortunately, this current weekend, I, I wasn't able to travel on Thursday, so this was a bummer. I had to miss uh, my best friend's wedding. I was the best man, and I couldn't go. So I uh, recorded my speech on my PC and sent it to them as an MP3 and the DJ played it. And it was kind of funny doing a best man speech remotely because I realized as I was reading through it, and I was like, Frelda, shut the I've no doubt she'll be promoted to Archmage at some point. As I recorded it and like I finished it and I was trying to cut it up, I was like, well, I can't just do it without any pauses. Because what if they laugh at something? I can't immediately just start talking again. Um, so it, it was weird. It was really strange putting it together, but I realized at the end of it, I was like, wait a minute. I'm just doing YouTube voice. I'm, and the whole time I, I was I was like, wait, this is just my YouTube voice. It would be so different if I was actually there. But I mean, it, it seemed like it went, you know, well, and it was good. You know, I don't I don't think I bombed. There was one there was one joke that totally didn't land. And I, I was watching it. Um, one of my good friends who was there FaceTimed me. Oh, and I was I was so anxious. I was sitting here. I was pacing. I was pacing my house like, oh, God, is the audio going to be good? What's it going to sound like? Is uh, uh, are the are the moments of like pause that I included? Are they going to work? I was just like I was freaking out. And then watching it like watching a video of people. And, and I don't know a lot of the people um, that were there, right? Like I knew my friends that were there, um, but there's a lot of family that I didn't know of the bride and the groom. So I'm like, oh my gosh, this is like a, an auditorium of people who I don't know. And I'm watching them react to, you know, something I recorded live. Thank you, kind sir. Really strange experience. Uh, please tell a joke, Bond, and you had a huge pause for it, so it was really odd. I don't think there was like a huge pause, you know, after something bombed with like a huge moment of silence. Um, which, oh, thank God. <laughs> I was like, oh, thank God. I tried, I tried to have fun with the fact that I was remote and it was probably a strange thing that people likely won't really ever see again. What was the joke? So it had to do with, um, oh, I'll tell you guys this story. This is kind of a funny one. So when I was in high school, um, I was a dumb idiot kid and i was really into uh this one gal who had zero interest in me at all but there was a moment where um uh, my buddy and i we had uh a group of girls that went to a movie with us to like hang out go to the movie theater and i was like oh my gosh bro i need backup <laughs> and, uh, so we go and like an hour into it they all left and they came up with like a reason for getting out of there and leaving. And the joke that I told was like, I know it was, I know it wasn't the movie. Uh, I was like, I know it wasn't the movie like that they left for 
because it was Fast and Furious 6, and that movie was awesome. And, you know, they made nine more after it. It was, it was something along those lines. Like, that was kind of the joke. And it didn't really land. But I thought it was funny. Um, and it was such, like, an embarrassing, like, ugh, ugh, how do you recover from that? Uh, it, was, it was one of those, like, moments. But my friend and I, we went back. We finished the movie. It was awesome. And we never... We never talked about it again. He never made fun of me. He never brought it up. It was a really embarrassing moment for me, but you know, that's the kind of guy that he was or that he's always been. Good friend. They def left. No, Fast and Furious 6 was dope. If you can't enjoy Fast and Furious 6, I, I don't know if we could be friends. I, though, I am, I'm a Fast and Furious defender. I am. Welcome All right, let me into college. Now I must I'm ready for my education. However, you seek something more. Oh, most. This is the College of Winterhold. A perhaps. But what is it you expect to find within? I want to unravel the mysteries of Aetherius. I should just lie. Ah, the immortal plane. It is said to. It would seem not just. I would walk out of fast. Why would you walk out of Fast and Furious? Tests, it's cars it's exploding. No, I'm afraid I don't know any. Ripped chads. Hot babes, cars driving fast, people getting shot, a ridiculous story, twists and turns that make absolutely no sense. <laughs> That's my kind of movie. I look forward to it. The college is an asset to Skyrim. No. Or you can try your luck with one of the court wizards around. Here you are. Now I'm anxious to see you cast it. Really? Heal other? No matter what. Well done indeed. I think you'll be a superb addition. I'll lead you across the Well done indeed. Yay. Okay, alright. How does it feel to play Skyrim again after playing Startfield? Um Good. Awesome. I like uh I I, I do appreciate all of the games that we play being very different from each other. You know, similar DNA that's shared, but also very different. I believe I've made Mirabelle. Welcome, another new student. Well, but I'll give you a brief tour and then we'll get you to your first class. Oh, I forgot about the tour. Wonderful. Please follow me and don't wander off. Ugh, this takes forever. We forgot about this part. Oh, if you are currently playing Starfield, by the way, if you're looking for a side quest, go to the Porima system and go in orbit of Porima 2. There will be a ship flying in orbit of the planet Porima 2. Board now, that ship. Me. I'll show you Just trust me. Unfortunately, trust me. Implement more uh, it's an all-timer. All-timer side quest. I, I was very shocked at the direction it ended up going. <laughs> very, very, I was very surprised, but legendary. Um, I would compare it to... Mm, I can't. It would be too spoiler. I would just say, just do it. Do that question, trust me. I need as much food as Hello, streamer. I am a viewer. Hello, viewer. I am stream. Hey, look at you walking at a pace that I can keep up with. Why do I look massive? I look like a hulking beast. Also, this kid is huge. I'll ask that you please keep your voice down while inside. If Rufus is supposed to be like 11, he's really tall for his age. Did I get to level 3? Oh, I'm still not level 3, am I? Yeah, we're not quite there. I slowed down quite a bit. I'll probably get there, though. Is it Juno's Gambit? No, I've actually never played that quest. It's called First Contact. That's the name of the quest. 
I'm I'm not even I'm I'm not even kidding. It's for for me at least, and how surprised I was while playing it. And the there is an option you have at the end of that quest that made it like a top five side quest for me. That is so over the top and so fucking ridiculous that I I couldn't help but you know choose that option. It was awesome. Oh no, we still have to do the tour. I thought the tour just ended. Actually, you'll be learning from Tolfdir, one of our most esteemed wizards. Although, uh, for for me, I do think that the, that that quest gets a little bit into. It, it reveals some lore stuff that I thought was cooler to find out in the way that I found it out the first time. If that makes any sense. Tolfdir is likely already addressing the new apprentices. Go on in, and if you have any problems, let one of our senior members You can just skip the tour and go inside? Please don't bother the archmage unless it's absolutely Looks like the tour is already over. beginning please stay and listen so as i was saying the first thing to understand is that magic is by its very nature volatile and dangerous unless you can is it weird that i bring my friends to school with me and nobody else does sir i think we all understand that fairly well we wouldn't be here if we couldn't control magic of course my dear of course you all certainly possess some inherent natural ability that much is not being questioned. What I'm talking about is true control, mastery of magic. It takes years, if not. Decades. Dragonborn gets special pro. Technically, I'm not Dragonborn yet. I'm just what guy. Oh, he's it's already exactly. bored. This kid's over it. Please, please. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Eagerness must be tempered with caution, or else disaster is inevitable. But we've only what just arrived here. Will this is actually what it feels like to be bored in class when you're falling asleep, but you're still just awake enough. You've been quiet so far. What do you think we should do? I think we should learn something practical. Nah, none of this safety nonsense. Is that so? See, he agrees with us too. Why don't you actually show us something? All right, let's settle down. I suppose we can try something practical. In continuing with our theme of safety, we'll start with wards. Wards are protective spells that block magic. I'll teach you all a ward, and we'll see if you can successfully use it to block spells, all right? Would you mind helping me with a demonstration? Are you at all familiar with ward spells? I don't know any ward spells. <laughs> Everyone's so far ahead of me in class. A very basic ward, one that's enough for the purposes of this lesson. That was me in school. I don't now, have any pencils. Right Ooh, there. I was really bad at that, actually, all throughout school. Hey, can I borrow a pencil? And by borrow, I mean take, there, chew on, never give back. Wouldn't want anyone else in the way. Now, cast the ward spell and keep it up. Hold still. Excellent work. Well, I think this is an excellent. I feel like wards could use a buff. They drain magic really, really quickly. I would say maybe a slight debuff to the strength of the ward but a buff in terms of how quickly it drains your magic maybe just at the start 11 per second that's kind of a lot you know it costs as much as healing is it an apprentice spell or not no it should be novice right yeah it's a novice spell so mm, i guess it does get really cheap if you work on what is that alteration wait it's restoration What a thrilling lesson. They get buffed with blade and blunt. Oh, do they? I should probably favorite it. 
Oh, you know what? Hold on. I did this in my other save. So first off, season effects on. And then I think I did weaker sunlight. 33%. Filters, I want to say fantasy. It didn't really look like it changed a whole, like this. I think this looks really good. I think this looks killer. Is that new? Is this a part of JK's? That looks like a fun little obstacle course. There's certainly some moments with at least whatever I have installed that have been a little bit awkward looking like when we were in Windhelm, there were quite a few. But I think this looks really good. I'm pretty positive that I only ever use wards on the quest you Oh yeah. I've never used them a whole lot either. Let's get a Sarthal. Fight some Draugr. Hopefully not get killed Thank on our way there. Time, Six months, we almost have a baby. Oh, Chrysler Hearse, you will. One of these days. We will. What, 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 what do you go with uh, for a name? can't play without JK's mods anymore. As soon as I downloaded JK Skyrim, a post went up on the Skyrim mods subreddit saying that they were sick of so many mods requiring JK's. Yeah, I gotta get rid of kill cams. Do we name it after a car? Name it DeVille? Uh, I would want to go with DeLorean. Dolores. <clears throat> hmm? What do you think about Dolores? God, I'm already cold up here. Quick, save the goat. Why are you hurting the hey? Don't hurt the don't hurt my goat. Uh boys will be boys. I just realized though. I still have rock joint. I gotta get rid of it. I don't know if there's any are there any shrines in Winterhold? There might not be. Also, uh, Exolaris, thank you for the prime. Apologies that I missed that. And RK, thank you for the tier one. Thank you for five months. I think I'm caught up. Sorry, I missed that. I wonder if that was when I stepped away. I hope not. What makes this Skyrim 2 and who's the little fat kid? So, um, overhauls to the perk tree, uh, combat balancing, precision, I think is the biggest one that really elevates it. It's still a work in progress, still testing some things. Slight changes to, you know, the lighting and textures, JK Skyrim overhauls the look of some of the towns. Nothing too crazy, enough to make things change and feel a lot, a lot of different places feel upgraded. The feel of the game is a bit different, a bit more tactical, a little bit slower. Mm, oh, is there a shrine? I feel like there's a shrine in this little house. I don't know why. No shrine. Shrine's in the midden. What's the midden? Jarl's longhouse might have one. Oh, I'm so. I don't have a disease. I used a cure disease potion.
Well, the game is flexible enough to do a lot of different things and be changed in a lot of ways. I, mean, I gotta go back and warm myself up now. I might as well. We'll be trudging through the snow. But a lot of what makes Skyrim flexible, especially as the years have gone on, are the frameworks and the tools that people have made afterwards that kind of work in sync with Creation Engine. Like Nemesis is a huge one. Um, uh, SKSE address library. There, Nemesis is probably one of the biggest ones for like animations and stuff like that. There's not many people left in Winterhold. I don't know a ton about it, but there's a lot of frameworks and tools that people have made in combination with the vanilla engine. And as I, as you can see from, you know, how quickly Starfield modding has already, it's, it's it kind of been mind blowing to watch it happen live. There's already been like a uh, Starfield script extender, uh, Starfield uh, ad, uh, SKSE address library, I think has already been posted. I know that there's a lot of work right now um, using NIF tools. I don't think the tools are released. They're still fairly private, but there's a lot of work for NIF tools so people can make, you know, custom textures and uh, body parts or armor pieces, stuff like that. Like if you go on the Starfield Nexus right now, you'll see some uh, Boba Fett, Jango Fett helmets that people have created. Not the ones that are retextures of existing helmets, but models that are custom made without using Creation Engine. Some really, really cool stuff. I'm certainly very excited to see where stuff goes. Starfield mods drop, st the, the uh, I think 20 minutes before Starfield came out, a huge, what was it? Oh, 20 minutes before Starfield officially released, Star UI was already out. Which is like, crazy how quick it happened. fighting goats here's one one goofy thing that i've noticed with a combination of the mods i'm using is if i'm like sprinting forward and i attack i get stuck in this like sprinting loop or like sprint forward attack loop uh there's a bear around here okay can i get a different There it is, level three. If I go to sleep without dying, the believers finally win. I remember that cave. That's how we lost our Iron Man run. Fuck that cave. Look at my legs. Don't they look... Wait, what am I wearing on... Oh, I'm wearing leather scout boots. This looks pretty good. Some slight texture changes to the rocks. I think I had a few options that I could have picked when installing the mod. I did all of this on Vortex, by the way. I know cringe, not using Mod Organizer 2. I did start using Mod Organizer 2 for Starfield just so that I could start from scratch with it and kind of learn how it works. I don't want to go down here, do I? Eh, who's that? Ice Mage? Oh, fuck. Apologies to the believers. She's... Uh, she's using dual right now. Probably... Thank you, kind sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
The believers, you owe me for that one. You owe me. That was a good play. Where'd my son go? He got launched. Roof? Holy shit, she launched him. No, we're getting out of here. We're going. I need to get to class. I'm getting jumped by ruffians on the way to my lesson. I don't like that. I wish I could fix that. Like if I switch from healing to flames, my hands disappear for a half second. God, I've gone the wrong way, haven't I? Okay, I'm going to Skyrim my way out of this hole. What difficulty are you on? Expert. Expert survival. I think that combination is my favorite. With Blade and Blunt, I think it plays a little bit slower and a little bit more difficult than standard expert difficulty. But it feels pretty good so far. It feels really rewarding to win smaller encounters. Ooh. Ooh. Hold on. Somebody's pulling off kill moves. I'm getting real tired of these kill moves ruining my fun. Telscar! Good to see ya. Love Telscar. I'm not paying him. Oh there, fellow traveler. One itinerant minstrel. Can't talk now, gotta get to class. Especially because it's gonna be way warmer when we get to class. What's the name of the sheath weapon? So the uh all of the first person animations are with comprehensive first person animation overhaul. I believe that's the name of it. I didn't put links. I just listed out the names, at least the names that they have when I look at my load order. So that. Uh oh, hold on. Scout ahead, son. Check things out down there. All clear. Am I even tracking the right quest? <gasps> I'm not tracking the right... I knew it. Did somebody say that? Does the FPS mod include body when looking down? No, that is... Uh... <coughs> Hold on, let me see. If I shift home, it should... Improved camera SE. And there's quite a few small changes that I made to improved camera. Thank you, kind sir. Missed you, Juve. Hope you have been well and thank you for entertaining me while I bake muffins. Oh, Keely, can I have one? Face. I want a muffin. Are they chocolate chip? Also, I know the first, this animation mod, you know, with the sheathing and the unsheathing, the weapons and whatnot, it's on Xbox. I remember playing with it on Xbox a long time ago. But I wasn't playing with Precision. Highly recommend trying out Precision. That one can't work on console because of limitations with Nemesis, I believe. I hope in the future that we're able to do with console modding some of the framework stuff. You know, some of the extra tools, the script extender, um, Nemesis. There's a few others. Those are the big two ones, though, that pop into my head when I think about it. Oh, thank God this wasn't that far of a run. Uh. No way! No, 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 no. Okay, bandit chief, bandit, bandit. That one's afraid. Why is he afraid? Oh, I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm slipping. Don't fall. Oh God, now I'm reachable.
Oh, that was a good shot. Oh, wait, that's my teammate. Oh, that's, that's Sven. I mistook him for a bandit. Can't tell if those are hitting. They are. I don't like not having the hit sound effect. Looks like Sven has this under control. boy, Sven. Give me a kill cam. Mm, come on, don't kill him, Sven. He's mine. How the? Come on. Oh my, those are good shots. Two bandit chiefs? Dude, don't, don't, no, Rufus! Oh no! Oh God. All right, Sven, time to get revenge for my kid. Enough with the kill cams, I want to see people ragdoll. Oh, that was just beautiful, though. I, I cannot even be upset. It was just chef's kiss. Launched him off the whole cliff. I'm really digging this. This just feels really good to play. A little bit cheesy because Rufus is overpowered as an aggro sponge, but I just don't care. It's fun. Rufus beat me to class. He did. Holy shit. Somebody clipped that. Jesus Christ, teach. You didn't think to check the surrounding before hosting class for your students? All right, congratulations, believers. You finally won. You finally did it. Look at that, 103,000 points for the non-believers. All right, we will do survive class. Or die. <laughs> so can I get through my first day of school without dying? Survive. Believer, clearly. Two minutes. Will I survive class? What do we go? We went stamina level one. I've gone from 49,000 to 111. Oh my God, Huffles. Do you know how much Monopoly money you can buy with that? None of you assholes had issues getting to class. Good to see Skyrim. I'm sorry, but could you watch my kid for hey, teach? Can you can you just keep an eye on this kid for a little bit? I, I got I got some busy stuff I gotta do. Uh let's can I oh we can trade with him? Take a look. Yeah, let's do that. Ah, uh, there's not much I can sell. RK, Stendar. Novice hood, I can probably disenchant that. Or wear it. Let's take the money and run. It's always in Alright. Please stay close to me while we're inside. It should be I'm safe. Not so but sure we should be here. To be then fucking leave, man. Then leave. Then leave. Go join the companions or something, okay? If you're not ready for this, then I don't want you on my I don't want you on my team. Let's see what what does dual wielding look like. That looks kind of good. 
I like how we can use Rufus to test this. Not bad. Sven, see how you react. Oh. So sometimes it does both. Sometimes one. And it does look like on the downswing it hits the ground. Alternate hand just has the jab. That still looks pretty good. It's your Irish Jacks Juve. OMG. 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 Hi. OMG. You're live. One of my fave streamers. OMG. Thank you very much, Jax. Hope you're having a pleasant day. I don't like the crunch noise of the ground. Like that, like if it hits the ground, that one does look a bit awkward. I do kind of enjoy it. It reminds me of, um, did anybody in here play Jedi Knight, Jedi Outcast, or Jedi Academy? Because in that game, like if you swung your lightsaber and it hit the wall on your follow through, it would kind of leave a mark on the wall. It looked very 2000s, you know, early 2000s, but it was still a really cool effect. And I, I don't know, I, I kind of like that sense of the floor and the walls actually existing around you in terms of collision. Might not be everyone's main squeeze, but that's why modding is beautiful, because if you don't like things, you can change it. Um, okay, so some of the interiors don't look great, but the caves so far, the ones that we have been in, 10 out of 10. I think this looks really good. Please be careful here. The site isn't entirely secure. <laughs> I like how still in the middle of class, I can just request that he watch my child. Why are you blocking? Hey, teach, look at my sword. Now let's see. What so that idle animation that plays, usually they run their hand along the blade, but it doesn't do that anymore for me, and I think it's because of the first person camera. What's Skyrim 2? It's uh, just a list of mods that I'm working on to next genify my Skyrim. This animation right here. He should be running his hand along the blade. But I think the improved camera I'm using. I think that breaks it. Single file. I want to be line leader. Something to make Jazargo a powerful wizard. I wonder if everyone else would be so happy to rifle through the bones of their ancestors. <laughs> He's not wrong. He makes a pretty good point. Any reason you're not using the simple Wabajack list as a base? No particular reason. I think I wanted to also keep it very simple in terms of like because I did this all through Vortex I kind of wanted to put together a list that was accessible and not super overwhelming maybe I did it poorly yeah this looks good big fan of how this looks a little bit too much moss it's a little heavy on the moss but I guess it makes sense overgrown you know, your mileage may vary in terms of how it looks. Should I just be sprinting ahead? Yeah, I'm just going to run to the objective. Get out of my way, Teach. I'm the star student here. Do, do, do. Oh, who are you? Well, certainly none of this will benefit my research. He what? You must be one of the new apprentices. I've only looked through a portion of this section. Try and be careful, all right? Just round up the rest of the magical artifacts so that I can... Yeah, that animation plays a little bit too much. Artifact one. God, if this was a Morrowind quest, they would just force you to spend an hour looking for that one ring that blends in with the ground. Like, th this is actually... There are some quests in Morrowind, little side quests where it's like, can you find my ring? I lost it in this cave. 
and it won't be marked. It'll just be this tiny little Thank thing. You, kind sir. Have you seen the Northern Vanilla Farmhouse mod? Gives each town a unique vanilla look with roofs and architectural details for each region. I haven't. Um, we, I, I don't know if we have a channel on the, I think we have a modding channel on the Discord, but if we do, I would definitely love uh, if people shared anything that they think might be a fun change from any of the mods that I currently have right now, or just mods in general that they enjoy and think are cool. I should check it out more. No HUD. I don't know if I would ever do no HUD. I love the HUD. No, no. What in the world was that racket? Is everything all right? Not everything is all right. I'm separated from my. Nope. Never mind. Okay, he has ethereal abilities. Sven, keep walking in that direction. You'll eventually get through. How in the world did that happen? Really? Perhaps the amulet is important somehow. Is there some hmm. way you can use it? Use the Sarthal amulet to escape the trap. I think I just have to put it on, right? I'm putting on this ring. Honestly, it's so nice that he carries around this. It's compatible with JK's too, since it uses the base object swapper. That's good. Hold on, don't don't tell me how to get out of here. I can remember. I wish something exciting would happen, the spoiled child says, as the wall is resonating magic. Okay, what would Indiana Jones do? Da, 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 da. Oh, I think I just saw an activation prompt for Rufus. Hey. 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 What in the? It's always the answer, isn't it? The answer in Skyrim is always flames. They'd be like, <laughs> we're cooking up a mean puzzle. You thought those puzzles in Tears of the Kingdom were tough? Well, wait until we throw you this knuckleball. Our player's knees are gonna be wobbling with confusion. All right, dungeon team. We need a really tough puzzle. What do you got for me? Uh, they have to cast flames. Brilliant. We've only used that 16 times. The one guy who suggested maybe they have to use ice spike. They might not have that spell. You're fired. Oh, I thought I was still solving the puzzle. Did we saw? Yes, we hit level three. The believers won. Hard earned effort, hard earned victory. Skyrim is my favorite puzzle game. Hold, mage, and listen well. Ah, kill it! Will he still ragdoll? Thank you, kind sir. Judgment has not been passed. As you Haley, thank you for nine months. What's our Twitch baby name? Uh, Simzoid, thank you again. I responded to your thing about that mod, but I didn't thank you. Thank you for three months. Ow, ow, don't cut your fingers. He's so bored of the dialogue. He's like, you know what? I think I'm just going to... felt something rather strange just then. What just happened? I smell something. Oh, shit, my door's open. One sec, I gotta close it. Can't 
I'm not gonna lie, I had a, I actually had a really easy, I mean, now I had help because I was talking to Red Yeti and DDM the whole time, and those two know a lot about modding in general. They're very good at it, and their friendship is unbelievably valuable to just, you know, helping me understand things. If you've never modded before, and you're really intimidated by it, if we don't on our Discord server, we should have more than enough people. No, we should. More than enough people who are really willing to just talk about modding compatibilities. When you start to do it a lot, you really understand the different kinds of things that click in this game. What is a mesh? What is a texture? There's a big difference there. Meshes usually break the game. If something is breaking in your game, a lot of time it comes down to meshes. Can you tell me more about what you saw? Um, you know, animations. Animations could clash. Uh, I don't know. The order? Different frameworks, all that kind of stuff. That? That's very my jacket odd. looks so close. I haven't worn this in so long. Why, that this is my favorite battle pass odd. skin. The Sijiks have no connection to these ruins, and no one's seen any. This one, and then the quarter zip, time. the gray quarter zip. Perhaps we should take a look inside. Now, please do be careful. Okay, I need to stop with the sword. It's very rude. Take care now. Wait, what's the idle animation for? Like, if I have a long bow, what does it do? Huge fan of the bow animations. Oh shit! Hold on. It's fighting time. Where's my shield? Potions? No potions. Oh, I'm dead. Anybody see Rufus just fly across the room in that fight? I'm loving this, though. This has been a really, really fun way to play the game. Hey, Jube. I saw your channel in a gaming article written three years ago and have now decided to watch this stream. All right. I see what you're doing there. Very funny. Very funny bringing back the Game Rant article that misspelled my name. If anybody doesn't know the meme, when DDM made the species randomizer mod for Skyrim. Game Rant wrote an article about it, and they said, Jube is a YouTuber. You can view this video here to watch Jube play through it or showcase. That is funny, though. If you did first find the channel from that article. Uh, but Jazz Pine, thank you for the 200 bits. Enough with the animation, it plays so quickly. All right, let's see, let's see. Does it do it with the longbow? Is there an idle animation here? No. So it's kind of hard to see, but look closely. As it, you see how the bow is kind of doing this? You can see the animation on a loop, and it kind of pops, kind of back to the start of it. It's very subtle, but you can see it click. There's like a two frame little blip because of the FPS. It could be. I think I'm only playing on six. I think I have my monitor limited to 60. Although I might have changed it to try and see how many frames I could pump out of Starfield. I do like this a lot. This looks really good. I love the sound of it too. Oh, I thought the bow made a fart noise. It's Rufus. I'm actually gonna get killed by loose bone. Get out of- What are you doing? 
<laughs> is Sven pissed off at me? Don't, don't act like. Stop that. It's my child, okay? You're just along for the ride. Take cover behind him. Let Telf Deer take the arrow. That looks so good. Duck. Like that reaction when you finish the swing and they fly with it. I can't get over that. Self-love, self-care. Good shit, Sven. Keep it up. Let's upgrade our bow. I mean, there's like seven more of them. I've never seen anything like this in Nordic ruins before. Why just look at all this is simply fascinating. I'm I'm sorry, Tolftier, but my kid, he's a little bit he's covered in blood. He's look at him, look at him running around. He's added so much energy. They were a group of mages with a history that predates the Empire. Very powerful. Display Very tweaks, secretive. playing at 144 FPS. They vanished. Sanctuary, Don't you miss Lydia from your adventures with chicken? I do. No idea what connection they'd have to I would love to play as a chicken again. That was intense. Take care now. No. What did I pick up there? Ancient Nord War Axe? That's a little bit more damage than the steel sword. Those aren't going to sell for a lot and they weigh a lot. Let's do it. Be careful. Not a big fan of how that door looks. Although now I'm just being really nitpicky. Try playing, uh, Jace Pime, try playing Fallout 4 at 200 FPS and then run into the corner of a car. You'll have, you're guaranteed to have a fun time. Do it, Sven. Do it! The hell are you waiting for? Really rude. All right, that worked. It's it's very, very subtle, but you know, the way Sven swung his hammer there, connected, and then the Draugr fell in a somewhat believable way. I'm dead. How did we? It's because of the way I swung. I must have hit the urn above me. Damn, that was close. Atta boy, Roof! Hitbox? Hitboxes are a little bit off. It's one thing I haven't 100% been able to figure out. Sometimes they're a little bit off. Nice shot, nerd. The kill cams are really ruining my fun. Well, so Skittles, the mod list that I have listed up there, when you go on to Nexus, a lot of those mods will have, um, a lot of those mods will have dependencies that they need. So it, it's it's a simple version, but not my entire load order. 
and there are maybe some other tweaks and stuff I didn't include, but the major ones are listed there. So like, I didn't list Nemesis, but you'll need Nemesis for sure. Nemesis you should just have in your game in general at all times. But I've never had any issues with Nemesis doing it through Vortex. I'm not 100% sure how all of that works with MO2. I also, it was really hard to not get into the mindset of just one more mod, just one more. When I was putting all this in, I wanted to keep it fairly lightweight and stable. And so far with only one crash, I think we've mostly achieved that. I need to start playing though by blade and blunt rules. I keep trying to play by Skyrim rules. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, God, that was close. Ah, uh, bad. Nice swing, idiot. Just because you guys are invincible doesn't mean you can run ahead of me. Okay, puzzle. Whew. I don't know. Move it, move it. What do we do? Okay. Beak. Beak. Talons, two talons, two talons with a tail and wings. I think that's right. I think that one's right. No. Maybe, but no. I'm 50 50, but it might be it. Okay, if we follow the pattern of the previous two, that should work. Oh, right. This one is the same as uh, this one up here. So we probably want to match the bottom pillar. Yeah. I'm so fucking good. Unbelievably intelligent. These aren't your grandma's puzzles anymore. That was scary. Whoa. No, 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 no. Get in there, kid. Somehow making them stumble. Oh my God, he's fucking dead. <laughs> oh my God, the way he gets hit is so brutal. You're lucky you dodged that one, Rufus. Oh man, I can, I can watch this kid get his ass beat all day. Now, Rufus is not a part of Skyrim 2. Let's get some archery XP. I just shot my kid. Love that effect with the arrow. That's actually really nice. That impact effect. Never seen that. What about Skyrim 2 Special Edition? I'll work on that one next. And then next year we can do Skyrim 2 Anniversary Edition. Stamina potion. Love it. Has anybody ever noticed that that is my universal sign of hell yeah. Of just, I don't know why. Why is that? It's like a, all right. 
I'm skipping Legendary Edition. Oh, oh wait, you guys want to see something? Speaking of Legendary Edition, I'm, I'm dumb. I bought this. Let me go grab it. I went on a, I went on Amazon, and I was trying to find like a day one original a Skyrim copy. Goose, thank you very much, Goose. I appreciate you. Um, and I ended up getting. It's probably going to be reversed, but I ended up getting. Uh, uh, the, it's in front of my key lights. It's unopened. PS3 Skyrim Legendary Edition. But I want. I, I want just Skyrim. I, I, I don't want Legendary Edition. It's red. Yeah, greatest hits. But I, I don't want the DLC. I don't want any patches. And I think that this is. It, it has the DLC, so it's probably post a few patches. So if anybody out there is willing to sell me an unpatched day one PS3 version of Skyrim, I would love to do a few streams off of a PlayStation 3 because it's the worst version of Skyrim by far. By far. I would love to trade with someone. I would buy I would buy the PlayStation and I would buy the copy of Skyrim, although it would have to be the PlayStation would have to be factory reset. All patches for Skyrim would have to be deleted. Uh, and then I would like to play PS3 version. <laughs> no, not 360, not not Xbox 360. That version is not nearly as bad as the PS3 version, the PS3 version. It's well known. It's very notorious for it. It is the worst version of the game. What's so bad about it? It ran the worst. Uh, it ran really, really poorly. It made the PS3 sound like an absolute jet engine. The loading times were much longer. It crashed more. It was a really, like, bad. <laughs> it was bad. Could you back all the Steam? I don't think you can with because the thing is they stopped selling Skyrim and they really just started selling Skyrim Legendary Edition. So it already has the DLCs in the game. Right? It includes Dawnguard, Hearthfire, and Dragonborn. And those DLCs definitely have patches inside of them or definitely have like things that change it inside of them. So we'll see. Are you done for the day? I am not. I want to finish this quest. I'm really enjoying this, though. This just feels it's so refreshing. Because, you know, as much as I love this game and I love playing this game on stream trap. We have to disarm their trap, but we have to do it smart. Wrong way. Uh, I need to use a sword. I guess if I swing this way, he'll fly into it. kid Trappus disarm us I'm, a, I'm hitting the no no oh, cap wrong way let's try it here hold on kid I'm out of energy hit boxes hit boxes hit boxes Almost. Right. Perfect. I'm proud of you, kid. High five. Whoa. Oh, I got to use this more often. It's always refreshing to see Rufus hit the wall and fall to the ground like a fat farming <laughs> potato. He is so charming. I don't know what it is about his ragdoll. Okay, this actually breaks him. This 
stamina recovery is kind of slow. Oh my gosh. We must have lucked out the one time it worked. Oh god, we have been confronted with another brain buster. What do these match? What do they mean? What do these symbols mean? This spins all four of them. This spins just three. This spins just two. Okay. I know what we gotta do. We need to go. This one's a snake. Oh, wait, wait. This one's all four, so we gotta do. This one's dolphin. So this one needs to be snake. This one needs to be eagle. This one needs to be dolphin, right? This one needs to be something exciting snake. Dolphin, Snack, Eagle, Dolphin. All in a day's work. Dolphin, Whale. I don't know, I think it looks like more of a dolphin. If Rufus wasn't entirely invincible, then I wouldn't I wouldn't want to smack him up as much. Hold on, my boy. Hold on. I thought it high time I caught up with you. Someone's stepping on that trap. I'm gonna blame it on Tulft here. I'm done blaming Rufus. What? What are you looking at? Giant spinning orb. Gyric Galderson. Oh, he's got shouts and he's got frost. I have to separate myself from the frost. Nice swing, idiot! Why can I... What? Oh no, something broke. <laughs> what? How am I dead? He barely even tapped me. Damn, that was close. We haven't even put a dent into this guy. He's invincible. Shoot, how do I stop him again? I don't remember what to do. Holy crap. Try shouting? I don't have any shouts. He's gonna come down here and chase after me. Tulfdeer needs to do it? Well, Tulfdeer needs to get out of the damn corner then. Oh. 
That is unbelievable he does that much damage. Come on. I'm out of food. There you go, Rufus. Hold him down. Hold him down. Push down here. Get him downstairs. 12th tier, get moving. Let's go. Rufus is distracting. Quit fighting and do the shout. This would be impossible if I was on my own. Okay, do we have any magic potions? Yeah, we got one. Oh my god. I need him to go chase after Rufus. Yeah, he pushes through Rufus. Okay. Medic on the way. Did I sell that magic hood? I've always wanted to do a run where I can't use any weapons. All I can do is heal my teammates. Is, do you think 12 tier broke? is really good it seems to heal Sven for a lot more than it would heal me Tolf here just wants to back up his buddy so I want I want to do a run where I can only use you know non lethal spells so like illusion spells healing spells all that kind of stuff but I can have unlimited followers but my followers never go down to a knee if they run out of health they die Bosmer babes, how are you? Reset AI. Okay, we'll try that. Oh my gosh. Look at you go, chat. Oh, now we can hurt him. I love cheating. It took so much. Oh my god, that's horrible. Horrifying. His whole entire head was turned around. Touch the orb. This is Starfield spoilers. What could this place be? I have no idea. I don't dare leave this unattended. Can you return to the college and inform Savo Zaren of this discovery? Please. Hurry. What a wild first day of school. I'm a god. How can you kill a god? What a grand and intoxicating innocence. I'm a god. How can you kill a god? Shame on you, sweet Sarah Who was that? Hybrid Pie. Thank you very much for your first five gifted subs to the channel ever. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. It's very kind of you. Thank you for supporting the channel. What did we learn today? Ooh, ice form. Is. Gosh, I have. 
You know what's funny? In all the hours that I have played this game, the last video we did, uh, pay to win, that's the only time I've used shouts in any of my challenges. I mean, maybe I've used shouts in very limited fashion, like I've used Foos, but I've never used, like, what is ice form? I don't know. Congrats to the believers, by the way. Unless there's another fight in here. Another tough puzzle. Oh, but Yeti, I, I saw you were in chat. I don't know if you've seen much of the stream today at all. I was talking about how we went back and forth a bunch while kind of putting together the whole entire thing. I think it's, it's playing really, really well. Some indoor lighting looks a bit awkward. I think some of it is a little bit mossy. Actually, the lighting down here does look a, a bit off. Depends on the time of day. But overall, I really enjoyed it. And it was, it was really fun. Difficult. Uh, not too punishing, though. And I feel like I actually do have to kind of invest in a character build, especially because we're going along with two fairly overpowered followers. That's made it a bit easier. You, kind sir. It's weird to say, but yeah, Rufus is overpowered. He's really good. That was fun. I really like how this is playing. I'll have to think of some kind of challenge that we can do this week in Skyrim 2, because I've always thought that the, a video would be really fun to make where we just call it Finally, Skyrim 2. I've always thought that was really fun. Or I've always thought that that would be really fun. We'll see. Don't know 100% yet what we would do. Let's uh, raid out. Again, uh, thank you to everybody for, you know, I, I always have this weird sinking feeling when I can't stream for a really, really long time. And I get really nervous of like, gosh, I haven't streamed in so long. Uh, genuinely, thank you all so much for just, you know, having a good time and being fun and supporting the channel and all that stuff. I cannot wait to cre keep creating more things. Where's that video? Where did that come from? Is that from Milk? Is that Braith with a gun? I'm going to ask him if I can steal that emote because it's hilarious. I'm going to send you guys over to Bulu again. He's still playing Baldur's Gate 3. If you don't want Baldur's Gate 3 spoilers, try to avoid it. Uh, give him some love. He's a good guy. Really funny. Um, loves Fallout 76. No, don't, <laughs> don't, don't bully him. <clears throat> Remember to be kind, be, um, be nice, be supportive. Uh, I got to go watch my bears get embarrassed once again on the national stage uh, as they play the Kansas City Chiefs. I'm not sure if you are an NFL fan or not. That's what I'll probably be doing, spending the rest of my Sunday. And enjoy. Thank you all so much again. Love y'all. Appreciate it. Uh, MIB, thank you for the prime. Hyperpie, thank you for gifting out five subs again. That was very kind of you. And AJ, thank you for the 150 bits. Goose, thank you for giving out another five. A dude, thank you for the prime. Thank you for five months. Uh, Haley, thank you for nine months. I think I'm all caught up. I didn't. I don't think I missed too many of them. But thank you. I appreciate it.